Yeah, like, like y'all remember Glacier's kick? Yeah, yeah. that nigga put that. Shit. He was for real though. He was, <laughs> yeah. That nigga wasn't playing at all. No, no games. What time is hard to or hard to kill start? This hard to kill know. starts now. Yeah, yeah I'm about to start at eight, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to find the results. Mm. So I ain't gonna be able this to watch a, it. This is new X Division talk. Oh, that looks dope. Oh, shit kind of sucks. Pretty dope. That looks dope. Impact, I, yeah. Impact had some. Impact slash TNA had some underrated belts. They did, man. They did. The, the, yeah, uh, the heavyweight belt was pretty dope. Belt. I'll tell you what, though. Shit, sure, we already know about to win this game. I'm about to say, I would put it on in the background, but the only way I could do it is with this. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you got a screen share yeah. and shit. I'm going to see if I can find the link to it right quick. Absolutely. Oh, uh, dang. Uh, just let y'all know we're recording. Oh, shit, are we? Hey! hey. Stream, because I'm going to pay for it. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> man, fuck that. We ain't paying for shit. <laughs> Not for... Not for this paper. No, <laughs> no, we're not. Not for impact. <laughs> Hard to pay. That's what it should be. Hard to not be racist. <laughs> what it should be called. You're right. Mm-hmm. Oh, but welcome to volume 49 of the Black Guy Wrestling Podcast. <laughs> oh, we only one away. One away from 50, 50. boys. Yeah. That's going to be dope. One away from 50, yeah. 50 episodes. And you, to be honest with you, I thought this was going to be a slow episode because at the beginning of the week, I didn't have nothing. Yo. No. I wrote all my notes last night. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> then it happened. Man, look. Oh man, thank you, Tessa, for being racist. Yes. <laughs> well, let's get the let's get God the damn it. Yeah, I know. Let's get the introductions out of the way. This is the poetic crippler. It's your boy. El Chiquito. Coming in third, it's your boy Nolo Green. Last and least, your boy D Mac Tardy. <laughs> <laughs> My man said least. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> That's a move. It used to be King Mock. What yeah. happened? I, I still am. You, yeah, see, I, you still I, mad about them Saints, huh? Yeah, man. You're I'm pulling the Prince Harry right now, man. You separate yourself from the the monarchy. Hey, but she, but he got a bad woman with him. But and she got oh, and shit. she got was well, this the no this the no kayfabe. Um, oh, let's start with that. Yeah, yeah. Let, let, let me let me get the. She getting that check from Disney. She she is. Is. Oh yeah, she. Was she's a real her. prince or was a real princess. Now she's about to be yeah, a Disney they, princess. They just signed this to like some crazy ass deal. Can she do? It? Yes. Wait, who you talking? Why can't she? Huh, I thought once you, I, I she's, was not, like, she's not in the royal she, family anymore. They got rid of. Oh, you talking about Meghan Markle? So what yeah, she get signed yeah. to? She got signed to Disney. Yeah, Disney do as something. a voiceover for movies. Mm-hmm. And you know what she's gonna be now? A Disney. princess. I was, Again. About to, I was about to say some wild shit, but let's just get on with the rest of the show. <laughs> you can find us on Apple Podcasts, Boom. Google Podcasts, Bam. Spotify, Stitcher Radio, the world famous Pod Dealers Network. World. And of course, please leave a review on iTunes and give us a five-star lowdown frog splash review. Yes, let us know what you think. Oh, you're messing with the real deal now. We've been trying to introduce some new segments on the show and whatnot. And one thing before we get really get started, mm-hmm. if you, I always, you know, if you want to shout out on the show, we'll give you a shout out on the show. All you gotta do is just like the tweet. We only got one, but you know what? One's better than us. So we want to give a special shout out to at at under, uh, underscore inferno on Twitter. Okay. Hey, my brother, you appreciate you for for tuning in. Big you know, salute. we got you on the shout AT out. At inferno, <laughs> at fever, at <laughs> fever, Ooh. yeah, 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 at fever, at yeah. Fuck with it. Just do the outs yeah. right, yeah. yeah. right there. Oh yeah. man, look. Shout out to the God. Yeah. Hope he's doing all right. Nah, he's Maybe. living life. He may be living he's selling that, selling that tree. But who? Oh, Alex Wright? Man. That's what Alex Wright doing? What happened? Oh, uh, Yard? Disco. I'm talking about Disco in front. Oh, okay. Match might get canceled tonight. Mm. Yeah, because Rich Swan apparently got a sprained ankle. And they say he's not clear to wrestle. Damn. Man, yeah. take that shit up. That's what I said. <laughs> Damn. Act like a little bitch. This is WWF or E. Okay, okay, okay Tessa. He would have been doing that shit. He act like a little <laughs> bitch. I, I, all right. Yeah, shit, man. I should spit in his face. <laughs> you should. <laughs> Look at you. Don't. Build your character. <laughs> that way, I went too far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> choke. Even I went too far. Tessa went further though. Yeah. <laughs> should we? Should we go? Should we do the, the no K fame server? Should we just go right into the wrestling? We do shit? no K fame at the end. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it. Again. <laughs> okay, this bitch. Mm. Yeah. Let's get started with her real quick because I got a lot to say that. No, no, I don't want to start on. A heavy note. <laughs> I, I do, but I, oh, I kind of, I kind of do have a start on a heavy note before we talk about Tessa. I want to just dedicate this episode 
um, to the gentleman oh, yeah. who uh, La Parka, mm-hmm. not the uh, not the WCW, not, WCW. not, WCW, um, not La Park. You know, and I, I don't want to disrespect. I want to say his his actual name. Give me one second. Um, but in the meantime, um, if y'all remember back in October, La Parka uh, missed a dive. His yeah. head hit the guardrail, mm-hmm. um, and I guess the injuries finally came to him. He passed away this morning. Um, Fifty five years old. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, I got I, his name was uh, Jesus Alfonso Huerta Escobanzo, and if I, I butchered that, I apologize. But like I said, he took on the La Parca gimmick after the original La Parca um, left AAA. Um, he's been doing the gimmick since uh, looks like since about 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 ten fifteen years, mm-hmm. maybe even more. But he was fifty four. Um, he died. Like I said, the cause of death was lung and kidney failure. Um, tragic, tragic, man. I don't know if y'all saw the video, but it's absolutely heart wrenching. I remember the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it. Was, it. it was bad. <laughs> so, I think he was he was wrestling. He was like Roosh. I think it was yeah, Roosh, Roosh, yeah. If I'm not mistaken. And um, it was you know I mean I, we've never really talked about it, but it's that that style of lucha libre is is really like high risk to to the max. It's mm-hmm. very choreographed, and it's like it's it's almost like a stunt man type of stuff. You mm-hmm. know? Like it's almost like. What's that shit called? Uh, circuit, circuit de soleil, or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's very art, artistic, crafty. You know, so but you know it does have its cons too. You know, so yeah. And a lot of those acrobats, man, they you know they can make you, or they can break you. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, that's what happened in this case. So to uh, Mr. Escobanzo, <clears throat> uh, La Parca, we we. Vaya so, contigo. Yes, we say rest in peace to you, Absolutely. my friend. Thank you for your contributions in the business. Rest in power, bro. Now let, let's get to a lighter note. That's not really a lighter note, but it's kind of heavy. But it's still we, you know, we're gonna keep doing what we doing. Yeah. So last night, <laughs> I get off of work. I'm like, oh, when, you didn't see it last night when when I t- when I text you, that was me getting off of work. So I, da- I downloaded my my Twitter again because I like to keep it off while I'm at work. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I see a message from our good brother here, Nolo, <laughs> that was practically like, look at this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and it was some heavy shit. I believe it was Alyssa K, the NWA Women's Champion. Yes, Chelsea Green started it. Is it Chelsea Green who started? Chelsea Green started it. <laughs> did Chelsea Green start? Yes, yeah, she did. She was the first one that wrote something first. Then Alyssa K came out and wrote something. So pretty much, <laughs> and Tess- then the floodgates yes. around the country. So Tessa Blanchard opened the door by putting out a tweet that was pretty much like, you know, hey women, if you support one another, cool things happen. Yes, right? that's his word for word. Oh, is that really? Yeah. And then, goddamn, the door's open. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, what started out as, a, like, calling Tessa out on bullying. Yep. Turn in the way more. Like, Alyssa K alleged, which I, I get, I, I'm using I'll, alleged. I got, I got, got I'll, I'll have okay. a tweet. She said, it's Alyssa K. No, it's okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. excuse me. You good. Uh, remember when you spat in a black woman's face and called her the N word in mm-hmm. Japan? What was you supporting women? The audacity of this tweet. Mm. Hmm. Now, uh, it, it should be noted, right? Mm-hmm. That this comes a day before, before her yes, biggest. We're recording this on a Sunday, but this took place a day before Tesla Blanchard is the challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship on Impact's Hard to Kill. Where mm-hmm. most people believe. She's going to win. High possibility. Well, at least before mm-hmm. this. <laughs> before this happened, mm-hmm. that she was actually going to win the uh, the World Heavyweight Championship. Now, let's, let's stop at the tweet, right? First reactions. When you saw, <laughs> when you saw this. <laughs> I didn't see it until, like, almost. It was probably 10 o'clock when I got back to the room after we got released. I didn't and, see it until today. Because I, I called him about it. And I asked him if he, yeah. if he read what was going on and shit. Because I was listening to the episode coming back here. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I was like, damn, we was brazen this shit. We was like, this bitch. Uh, <laughs> we were. Yeah, we was. I don't even know the bro like that. But, yeah. damn. See what new information can do, see? Man. Damn, that's shit crazy. But when I seen it, because I saw it when it was happening. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and oh, I was I like. She was <laughs> trending number one on Twitter. I was, I was like, like I looked, because I saw Tessa's, someone retweeted Tessa's tweet first. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, okay, that's nice. 
And then, <laughs> then Allison K and Chelsea Green came up, followed it, and I said, "Oh shit!" I was like, "No, damn Tessa, we was rooting for you." Like uh, you were supposed Kito. to be the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> you were the chosen one. Like, you were supposed to destroy the sin. Not, <laughs> not join them. Oh man, but like like El Chiquito said, like we was praising her like. Last episode, no. talking about how big the opportunity is, and it's still a big opportunity, but you no. can't be out here fucking no. um, disrespecting black people, period, especially okay. black women. So, okay, so we've talked right. uh, plenty of times about the, the racism and bigotry in professional wrestling. Yeah, we've talked about our hatred for Hulk Hogan and Lars Sullivan, and yeah. pretty much any time any wrestler has been racist. Yeah, not nah, <laughs> <laughs> But here's the thing, right? Mm-hmm. It's one thing for you to call a black woman the N word, right? You spat on her. Yes. And there's people to back. I'm trying. I'm trying to find multiple. Do you have the um? Because the girl who was spat on, she she came out. Yes, because uh, Allison uh, just brought it up, just yeah. brought it to our attention because she said we. They were like, why? Because everyone keeps questioning, like, why are you doing this the day before her match? And it was like, she said, well, I just finally got the green light to say anything. Mm. I've been wanting to say something. But the girl that this happened to didn't want to say anything. Yeah. Now, it's it's funny because when I was driving here, I was like, Tessa ain't been in the game that long. Tessa's only been wrestling since, I believe, 2014. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, I get that she has the name, the legacy, you know, the daughter of Tully Blanchard, the stepdaughter yeah, of Matt. Tully Blanchard, that's what I meant. Yeah, the uh, stepdaughter. Terry Blanchard. Terry Blanchard. <laughs> Fuck him, too. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she's the, the stepdaughter of Magnum TA. Yes. Um, the pedigree's in her. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's built up this reputation. And we, we've said it plenty on time. We've sung her praises plenty of times. But I guess it's never... It never occurred to me that first a woman that was challenging for the world heavyweight championship, it was relatively quiet from all women. When you when you look at hindsight, it's like, damn it, you won't see nobody shouting her out like that. When you think about it, yeah, and now yeah. we see why. Because the bitch was bullying everybody. She I was mean, a piece of shit. To be honest <laughs> though, we can state the fact that, you know, she does have a bad reputation with some big promotions or whatever because she does have this bad attitude and it was like I was telling D-Mac like it's good to have an ego and it's good to be conceited and all that shit man and I was telling my girl the same shit too but I was like when you start doing that and going far right wing basically yeah. like you know that's racist. where you start losing all credibility like it don't matter where you go yeah man I don't even know like that I, I mean, I heard of her. You know, I know of her. I probably watched maybe a, a one or two matches. And I think I watched the one from the uh, the uh, May Young Classic. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. When she were, uh, I believe it was Kyrie Sane. Yeah. yeah. I think it was Kyrie yeah. Sane. So, I, and, but I, I was just rooting for her because it was a female, you know, saying breaking like barriers. Like, you know, what China could have done if. That was more of an acceptance era in the attitude era. You get what I'm saying? I mean, China won a major male title too, but it wasn't the world championship title in mm-hmm. WWE. So, I mean, you can say whatever you want about, you know, TNA Impact, or whatever they're calling themselves now, but it's still a major company that's willing to put her as a forefront of the whole company, not just saying like Becky Lynch, for instance, how she was carrying WWE for a little while. Mm-hmm. And, but they gave it a women's title. They they were like, no, we gonna one up it and give her the title, our world championship title. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty dope. Like that was Big progressive, goal. and everything. But I think as a company, Impact after like these things, it's kind of contradicting themselves because if you're gonna be progressive, you can't be halfway progressive just because she's a female. Now nah, she has to be that and like. Not to say the, like the perfect person because nobody is perfect, but a role model in the sense to where like no baggage to say that she's not a progressive person herself. Like you can't be saying you can't say that I'm a progressive company. Push this female to the forefront as that like as the showing that we're progressive, but the the female that you're pushing is 
a racist. But that, that's the uh, the thing is like, and I, the the young lady's name was uh, La, uh, La Rosa Negro. Black Rose is the mm-hmm. who apparently is a veteran in the game. She's been in wrestling for about fifteen years, mm-hmm. but this story is just now coming to light. So a lot of these women have this pent up anger towards Tessa Blanchard. You know, I don't blame Impact for making the push because Tessa Blanchard is the most marketable. She was money. Yeah, like we we've <laughs> said it on the show. I've yeah. said it plenty of times. If WrestleMania was to ever have another female main event, Charlotte Flair, Tessa, Tessa Blanchard, Blanchard, it's yeah. money. This coming out, it's like, not only have you disrespected your fellow co-workers, you've mm-hmm. bullied them, but you spat on somebody, which to me is the one of the most offensive things you could possibly do. Not only that, but now you put your promotion in, in another pickle because everybody's going to be like, oh, well, they just in hired a, a race. They, they a, made a racist their top player. In, a, player, their in top a joking player. way, I'm like... Out of all the promotions, this would happen to impact. Yeah, right. <laughs> this right. would be an impact move. Just when they the were most climbing. impact move. Yeah. Ah. Just when they were starting to make like a, some noise. I don't want. Yeah, exactly. They started like, make some noise. You know, a slight comeback into the game, man. They they get pulled back down. Right. There's no way she's winning the title, right? I can't see it. Yo, she's getting pulled out of promotion. Yeah. Like that, she has bookings already. They're like, nah. I think it's only been one. This would be a bad. This would be yeah. a bad look if they put the title on. She wasn't at the the press conference. Yeah, yeah he told me she wasn't. At everybody the, was there, but her. now keep in mind, I don't blame her. They're in Dallas, so she might get cheered still. Because no, they, that's a black they, city, but, but here's the thing, right? But how many black people about to be there at an impact show? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but here, and they, but that's, here's the here's the thing, man. <laughs> the amount of people I saw defending, bruh, is fucking troubling, bro. It is troubling. That was the wild. amount of people that said fake news. Oh, where's the proof? But even, even like Kyrie Hogan. Now I don't want to smoke with Kyrie Hogan and uh, Demente, you know, Demente or whatever her goddamn name is. Yeah. Because she, apparently you can't say shit to nobody. But Kyrie Hogan was talking about how people evolve and everything like this. And I understand Kyrie; she's black. But at the same time, man, like that's like me. If somebody's like, if you told me like somebody spelled on you, mm-hmm. that person is an enemy for life. I don't give a fuck who they are. Absolutely. You know I, what I mean? Like, I get what Kyrie Hogan is saying. Though. I, I get it, but at the same time, it's just like, at what point do you stop seeing people evolve? You don't just spit on somebody and call them the N word and you evolve from that. And why right. not? And then, and then, if she really evolved, she should have apologized and admitted that it happened. But right. she acted like, nah, not yeah. I don't know what you're talking that about? That would be my next point. Yeah, like, I can see what she's saying, but like Nolo just said, like she doesn't. And I was telling uh, um, Carl this earlier, like we. It's like, you know we get serious when we say real names. Yeah, <laughs> 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 nah, I'm all ready, boys. <laughs> Nah, man, I, well, El Chiquito. It's too late now. Damn it. <laughs> edit, edit, edit. Nah. <laughs> but I was saying, nah, man, but like I was telling them earlier, like, she should have said more than, I didn't, it's not true, and this is all I'm going to say about this. No, like, if you really, if to Night Hogan's, you know, comment, if she really made a change, that's when she's like, all right, I made a mistake younger. You're like, I mean, you see football players like, like Josh Allen for the Bills. Uh, even LSU quarterback, um, um, Joe Burrow. Burrow. Like, he said some wild stuff younger in his younger days. It, it wasn't as racist as spitting in somebody's face and saying the N-word. But he was pretty much saying, you know, like all these, like, look at my white boy. My, y'all better guard the white boys out there shooting the ball, which is kind of funny, but it's like, eh. You know, it's kind of like, yo, what's going on? But at, he was like, you know, he made some, made some mistakes, you know, and he got cultured and stuff like that. Whenever he came to you know to more to a more progressive black city than where he grew up at, Tessa Blanchard, I don't know her background, you know, we don't know, but you know, wrestling hasn't been the greatest for you know black people, you especially know, what I'm saying? Black women. especially Absolutely. you know, yeah. and the South where you know the Four Horsemen was like. Reign supreme at you know there wasn't it wasn't the best area for that so we, we could kind of speculate how 
the family background was kind of brought up. I've never, I've never heard any stories about Tully Blanchard. It wouldn't put it past me. I ain't saying that he's yeah. ever said it because there's no, no. been no proof. No right. white people surprise me, especially back then, man. Exactly. Right. Yeah, go, go wipe that ring down, nigger. <laughs> but shit, if you, what did if, Rick you say? if you, if you, if you <laughs> oh, see, come on, man. If you watch the Decatur Town Hall meeting that Oprah had in Atlanta, mm-hmm. it kind of give you what the the climate was back in the eighties. Oh, yeah, man. And you know, but either either way, like it's, she should have just said she should have apologized more and kind of help. Did she Hogan's. apologize? No, I don't think she apologized. No, she said, said I'm not going to. Yeah, all I said I'm not right. talking about this. Exactly. Which, like I said, she gave more of a statement about the bullying than she did the racism. I haven't yeah. seen it. Yeah, yeah. She okay. she she made more of an elaborate statement about to Chelsea Green. Yeah, she, she did the I race. Got it right, yeah. Okay. She said, and I quote, I've never been anything but kind to you. Actually, I'll read what Chelsea Green wrote. So Chelsea Green replied back with the original tweet with, you, uh, you've constantly put down, bullied, and belittled countless female co-workers, including me, at that support. And the only thing that Tessa Blanchard wrote back in return to all of this, and I quote, I've never been anything but kind to you. I've dealt with mean girls since I started, not saying I'm a saint. Hell, I've had my ups and downs, and I've made silly decisions. Such is life. You have zero merit in your comments instead of putting me down here for a little clout. You got my number. Then she had wrote, uh, I guess, a, a tweet in general. She said, not true. That's my statement, and the most attention I'll give it because of how actually ridiculous it is. Yes, because... <laughs> Spitting in a black woman's face is it's ridiculous. Motherfucker, you know you did that shit. Just admit it and apologize if you really like. I did, but that, even if she apologized. Oh no, I, nothing changes for me. Yeah. I'm just saying if you really about like some Which, type of redemption to this, then you should definitely should have apologized. I'm trying to look at this from a white woman's eyes. So Why? Give me, give me a second. Give me a second. I'm trying to figure out what white privilege is. Me, oh, okay. Okay, I gotta get in character. Starbucks. Caramel lattes. <laughs> Starbucks, caramel latte, Target. Um, what else do white women like? Self development books, <laughs> yoga. They like Starbucks. Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. Taylor Swift. Taylor okay. <laughs> what she could have said was. I imagine put everything together with just like white women likes <laughs> their Pinterest boards basically. <laughs> they love them some Pinterest. <laughs> That's a ball. Okay, I got something to say about that song. I was gonna bring it up and, and uh, no breaking, no cape. That song go hard. I'm well, not against it. Hey, the only reason I know what it is is because of white chicks, but whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Hey, yeah, have you heard dope. the OT Genesis remix? Yes, I did. Yo, that, that was lit. hilarious. I Yo, I seen that. <laughs> He, 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 he has problems. <laughs> special. What she could have said was, in my young my younger days of my career, I said some choice things that I'm not proud of, but I have an opportunity to right this wrong by putting all women in this circle of growth. Once again, I'm not going to accept the apology, but it's something. As opposed to you saying the statement's ridiculous. Right? Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Now, and keep in mind, she, for real, the apology needs to go to Black Rose. Yes. You know what I mean? Which apparently, I guess, Big Swole said, like, a conversation what, like took place. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, we're in no no merit to, to say how the conversation went. We're in no mode to say how Black Rose should feel. I'm just looking at it from the perspective of a wrestling fan watching this wrestling program. Um, it's unacceptable. It's not allowed. It, it, it's, it's, get the fuck off my television. You know what I mean? Like, I have no interest in watching yeah. you. And, and like I said, this go, and these are those moments where like it pinpoints like how deep your fandom goes. Cause we've talked about like, what if such and such, you found out such and such said the N word. And we've all been like, it's gonna suck, but you you in the Hogan territory. Yo, yeah. no. We we don't fuck with Hogan. We don't watch nothing. No. We don't. It's no. it's over. He, it's dead. Lars Sullivan. Dead. <laughs> he ain't dead. I'll tell you that. Well, dead to me. His ass is dead. What's his name? Mitch Sullivan now? His ass is dead. Oh. <laughs> 
Shout out to that guy who created. Uh, no, 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 no. I shout out to he going. Shout, <laughs> I was gonna say shout out to the guy who created his attire from the, the joint on the on two K. Oh, I seen that. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it just like him. Yeah. So then he gonna come back? Uh, Hell no. No. You know what? No, he, he probably no. God, no. that I'm actually probably leave at that point. What yeah. if Lars Sullivan returns? Mm. But anyway, anyway, mm. anyway. Yeah. Uh, the last thing I'll say on Tessa, I don't know how much y'all more y'all want to talk about it. Is from going forward, Tessa Blanchard does not exist to me in this in this wrestling game. No, I wish her nothing but the worst. Um, I'm looking forward to Sammy uh, pile driving through his yeah. table. I think it'd be great. Yes. Yeah. I'm just curious to hear the reaction I'm not gonna watch of the fans <laughs> tonight. I, oh, I do want to hear that. You want to see what they. Yeah, yeah I, I do. Do you think, do you think, do you think it was a bad move that they didn't pull it? <sighs> it's impact. It's, it, it, I'm great. it's probably their most marketable match they but this is some, some heavy, heavy. Like. WWE for for with all the shit we give them, they fully. I'm, I'm granted they didn't want to, but they completely <laughs> removed Hogan from existence. Yeah, and then they brought him back. They did. Yeah, they brought him back. <laughs> but at <laughs> least at the time, they was like, nah. I just. I'm but wondering. at least he like no. He I mean, he did I, apologize. He did apologize. I mean, and he and the difference between her and him, he she. He probably has a PR person, you know what I'm saying, like that. But at the same time, he he did above and beyond to try to get back in All right, Leroy. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> Darius. Yeah. I'm not saying I totally agree with him coming back and everything like that. I thought he should have still been banned from you know what I'm saying? I will I will say but, Hogan Hogan almost got a slight pass with me when Virgil said it was okay. Oh, you let Virgil let you uh, if, if, guys, if the meat sauce, sauce guy says it's okay to uh, nah. get as many, if he says it's okay to get as many breadsticks. <laughs> about Booker T? Booker T said he cool with it. No, <laughs> I ain't gonna disrespect Ark on on air. Um, <laughs> never. I ain't gonna. Nope. This is not disrespect. Just say what you feel, dog. I'm, I'm trying to get Booker just, T. Man, keep man. it real, like the young folks say. Keep it real. I keep it real with him when he's on the show. It annoys the fuck out of me, man. Like it really does, because. You know, I was really rooting for her. Yeah. I really liked her as a wrestler, as a talent, you know. But, like, I already knew she already had bad history to begin with. Like, yeah. she had a bad attitude and shit like that, which is, you know, understandable or whatever. But, God damn, man. Like, not, as, not to this not to, Yeah, you didn't have to stoop that low or whatever. And, like, it's kind of corny, but I understand, like, some of the people that are like, oh, what happened in 2017? Why didn't you say anything back then? Because social media was still booming, this, that, and the third. I'm like, not everybody's going to, you know, spill the beans right then and there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just fuck, man. And also, Dagger, you can get the motherfucking hands, too, for your dumbass comment. Oh, yeah. I said. seen I that. I didn't see what he said. Yeah. Oh, man. You pull it up? Yeah, I got to yeah. find that one. Yeah, fucking Dagger. Her whiz, her. And that's another thing we should talk about, like, she has dated a black man, allegedly. Ricochet. Ricochet. She dated allegedly. Ricochet. Who? Huh? Ricochet. Tessa Blaine. Tessa Blaine. She did? Yeah. yeah. Tessa... Tessa and Trevor. Uh, Dagger said in uh, response to what uh, Allison K said, Oh, what a perfect time to tweet about a woman that is about to make history. Jealous is a real thing. By the way, I'm Mexican fiance. Shut your fake Andrade punk ass up. Yeah, your, thought, ass your ass opinions wasn't needed. Bitch ass. And it don't matter because you're not in the place to be offended anyway. Hey, once again, I didn't get it. You standing up for your woman. Mm-hmm. But the fact that you had to put at the end, I'm the Mexican fiance. What the fuck that got to do with anything? At all. Not a damn thing. Like, that's just, that just, like, that comment made it snow. Yo, racism is not, like, for just white people. Once again, no, <laughs> like I said, I get, like, you defending your See, black right? people is racist against black people. You know what I'm saying? It's called self hate. You know. Heard a Nigerian say a hardy or that. Yeah, man. Yeah. I was like, Just because okay. you put your, you know, ethnicity behind a statement, don't make it better or add more validity to it. I wonder if I wonder if Trevor is somewhere like, hmm. <laughs> she has <laughs> called me the N word. Plenty of times. <laughs> but we were fucking, so it was okay. It's you seen okay. that, Jay? Oh, you sent me the Jordan, yeah. the Jordan, the Jordan Grace. The Jordan Grace. <laughs> That's Jordan Grace. Grace. <laughs> Holding hand. And like, <laughs> oh, man. Women who did black men say the N-word. That's Cause Jordan, I've heard the rumor about Jordan Grace, too. I didn't yeah. know that yeah. until you told yeah. me. Yeah. 
Yep, that was crazy. But whatever. <laughs> Fuck her. Fuck Tessa yeah. Blanchett. There you go. Plain and simple. You don't get it. You don't. You're not test test anymore. <laughs> you're Blanchard. Well, I guess they can push Rosemary now. I'm cool with it. I like so Rose- so I'm not against so- it. Nah, I like Rosemary. Better. All right. So, so Rosemary's the originator. Can we talk about something way better? Yeah, let's see. Motherfucking right. Blackpool 2. I don't know. I'm probably the only I one that watched it. it, but that shit was dope. <laughs> it was, oh, yeah. NXT. Yeah, NXT yeah. UK. That's All just, I saw was um, Undisputed Air coming out. Yeah, that's it was perfect. Yeah, that's Yo, perfect. they watched uh, Imperium, and it was... Magnific. You know what I lo- but you know what I was loving? I was loving the crowd reaction. The crowd was hype as a big dog. Undisputed era is over as fuck. Somebody, no matter where they go. Yeah. I, I was gonna I was waiting for somebody on Twitter just to, to throw it out there said that the inner circle is better than the Undisputed Era. And they are foolish. And I laughed. Who said this? Some, Some Twitter person. Some, oh, I thought you were gonna say Dave. <laughs> I wouldn't. That's not like a Dave thing. I mean it might have been Dave's burner. It sounded like a rainy thing too. No, nah, he likes Undisputed Era better. Undisputed Era is great. You can. Anyone who says that, like, I understand people got their own opinion, but no, you no, you know how we this talk, is wrong. You know how we <laughs> talked about like, like there's no there's there can be no wrong you know wrong answer. Yeah, in a situation like that, no, that's, that's wrong. a wrong answer. Definitely, yeah. you got it wrong. I'm sorry, no now, credit. Now you did say the bait uh, devil match was. I need to see great. that. Match that match, yeah. that yeah. match got a lot match. of praise. Yo, on that match web. was a great back and forth. And when he, yo, he a big strong boy. That motherfucker, That's a big, is, strong boy. <laughs> that boy is nice. Like I can not like he's probably damn. I think he's probably top five to me. Just out In of the my, game right now. Yeah, because I can't. Anytime he is wrestling to me, it is an event. And that boy it is makes, great. Yeah, and that, that boy is great. Young man. Twenty three. That's the scary thing about him, man. Like twenty three years old, putting on these like these bangers. Yes, man. banger after banger. Future is definitely bright. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and you know, no shout out to Jordan Devil, man. Like very underrated. Yes. Now, they, how was the? How did they say the Walter Kofi? Uh, John Coffey match was. I liked it. It, it was like two was big bruises like going back and forth. Yeah. Going back and forth, man. Um, <laughs> was it was it Yokozuna and Mabel? That was a five-star okay. classic. <laughs> <laughs> first, oh, no. first, of all, first of all, you got Mabel the God. Hey, yo, I didn't know that like his finisher was that finisher. Yeah. I forgot. The, but, uh, I guess it's just been Viz like Agri? a long time yeah, the Viz since Agri? I've seen it. And mm-hmm. I was like, whoa. <laughs> but Dave Messer gave that shit a negative two stars or something like that. Yeah, man. <laughs> it was in the Tokyo Dome. <laughs> you Amazing know, right, things God damn it, man. Both of them, both of them are not here. Man. Yeah, RIP to, yeah, to them both. damn it. Oh, oh yo, it's not. And, and maybe. Yeah. They still here in our hearts. So in oh, WWE Network. For I will forever rep men, men on a Mission. Oh she yeah, Shit, I'm trying to get an interview with Oscar and Earthquake. Mm-hmm. What was his name in Men on a Mission? What was his name like Kareem or something like that? Who? Earthquake. Earthquake went on Men on a Mission. Yes, he was. No, he was not Doug. No, he, he was wasn't. in the oddities. That's no, bro. He was not in Money on a Mission, Doug. Bro, yes, he. No, he was man. not. I'm not. Look, I'm not going to argue with you. Oh, he <laughs> was, no, but he wasn't. He wasn't in Men on a Mission, but he had a, a African. Uh, somebody completely different. It wasn't, bro. Yes, it was. It was Look it man. up, man. It was we got man, Google. You talking about the one man gang? He was known as Akeem. There you go. Come on, you trying to tell this? I love to be. I love to be like you. Do know you like going against? Yeah, you trying to <laughs> trivia shit? I was like, hmm. I, I thought I had Akeem, the African dream. It was the, job was the one man gang. I feel it. Yeah, man. Come on. It was close though. Big ass. No, it definitely, definitely won't. Earthquake, one man gang. Don't you ever the goddamn name of John Tenson? Yeah, you got me. I don't know who that you know is. how you just like see like a fight and yeah. you're like this ain't about to end well. Yeah, that's how I felt. That's how I, <laughs> I, that's how I, I seen how you swinging that charge. I was like, <laughs> oh, I don't no smoke. <laughs> I was like, yo, I don't think you got this one right. I was like, mm-hmm. I was like, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm pretty sure Nick's right on this. One. I, I was confident. I know. <laughs> I understand. There ain't too many things I'm confident in, but when it comes to this wrestling shit, oh, I feel you. Speaking of big niggas, big show's back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, I'm gonna tell you what, man. I sat there and watched. I've missed the first hour of raw, but I saw. I got into the second hour. This is the first time I watched a full raw. Like, and I'm saying a full raw because I missed the first hour. <laughs> the most I've seen in a raw. 
Y'all were shocked that you was watching so much. I was like, you know, I was bored. I was like, yeah. whatever, I can't go to sleep. So I was like, let me turn it on. So I'm watching it, and then Joe and KO together. I said, all right, cool. And then Joe's like, I got a mystery tag team party. So I'm all over the internet trying to figure out who the hell the tag team partner is. Because I'm like, it better not be nobody corny, because if that's the case, I'm wasting time, like, not going to sleep. Like, because I got to get up dumb early in the morning. So I sat there and waited, and waited, and waited. And then the match started. I was like, okay, who's the mystery? Well, I said, oh, my God, I'm about to go to bed. Fuck this shit. <laughs> you know who I thought it was. Which, we'll get to him later. <laughs> but, for a split second, you had me there. Yeah, yeah. Had you thinking it was somebody. WWE just, again. Just a little bit, man. Just a little bit. And I, then when I got he, a guy. Huh? I got a guy. You got a guy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> w- w- the reason why I thought it was him, because... Rollins came out as the Monday Night Messiah, and he was like the Lito Ross type stuff. I was like, this would be a great way to to insert our guy. No, 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 nope. your guy. That's your you guy. Know, because then wasn't he like a? Messiah? Oh yeah, I really sure. just remembered who you talking about now. Yeah, dog, he was wild for that. Thinking I, that's who it was. Who was I that? Hold on, time out. Your boy, both of your boys. Oh. No, should we name names? That, that, that won't happen. Wait, dude, you see? Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me the wrong. The wrong answer. It was a little bit. Y'all was hoping. Me. I know he was hoping. It was just a little bit in me. I was so, like, you know what? I was asleep. I was in my room asleep. Mm-hmm. I just happened to look at my phone, and I saw him say, "It's gonna be CM Punk." <laughs> I put my phone back down, and I went right back to sleep. Because I was like, there's no fucking way. And when I woke up and I saw it was the big show, I looked at my phone, put it right back down, went right back to sleep. <laughs> and keep in mind, you know what I mean? Keep in mind, I got no beef with Papa Paul, the original Papa Paul. Mm-hmm. But goddamn. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. <laughs> big show is. That's like. I don't know. He looks good. I ain't gonna say he looks in great shape. It looks like he lost a little bit more weight. Looks away. like in great shape. Like, I'm not gonna knock him off. You got the away. beard back. He does. He doesn't look like uh, King Kong Bundy anymore. I thought he was gonna turn. I- <laughs> <laughs> you know what time it is. Yeah, well, you know, because Seamus came out, got a loud pop, and then next thing he kicked the shit out of Chad Gable. I'm gonna say this, man. He looked happy. He, he looked did. happy coming out. He did. But yeah. like I said, he looks good. I mean, but I was like, God damn it, man. Big Show. Big like, Show gonna be in the final four. I thought, you, you know what's crazy? I thought it was gonna be somebody from NXT, like random. Like, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Like a little bit of hype or whatever, man. And I was like, God fucking damn it. I would have even took Finn Balor for the hell of it. Just something, right? You know yeah. what I'm saying? But then, like we said, man, it, it made me think, and I thought it was a good topic. Big Show has probably turned more times in the history of pro wrestling than any probably wrestler. In fact, as he's I got more turns. Oh yes, yeah. as of uh, right now, it has up to, to 2018. He has turned 34 times. God damn! I That's don't, more than the Earth rotating. Son, <laughs> I don't even think the Big Show has won a full year without turning. No, in, his, a, in his active years of wrestling, I think. I, yeah, I don't. Is think, there a Big Show facts account that we can follow? <laughs> I'm sure there is. I'm sure so. Because I mean, so I'm just I'm running in my mind. I'm running in my because I can't do like. Like the mid two thousands or anything, yeah. but I know when he was in WCW, he. I have my favorite turn in WCW. Huh? I know my favorite. Actually, my okay. We do our favorite in the one we were just like, why? Okay, so my favorite turn from the Big Show was him joining the NWO. That's my mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my yeah. Easy. <laughs> So, for those that don't, the first time. Let me, yeah, let me when he turns on WCW. So. Yeah, he comes down the ring, he comes down the air, the NWOs, they beating down the Dungeon of Doom and the, the Horsemen. Are you looking at the Wrestle Talk one? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then um, Eric Bischoff is excited. The Giant, yeah! And then he grabs the Barbarian. And I love to call Eric Bischoff the whoa, 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 the Giant! The Giant! And then... Big Show joined the NWO, and he had a nice run with the NWO. Oh, man. It was great. You, but here's the man. thing: he was only in that incarnation of the NWO for three months. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't there that long. Yeah. <laughs> for nah. three months, smoking cigarettes and shit. Remember that? Oh man, <laughs> what about y'all, man? Favorite favorite Big Show turn? Uh, I have to say that one, or I could say my worst one—the one where he had joined Kellen Sullivan shit. 
The Dungeons of Doom? Yeah. Greatest stable of all time? That shit was whack. Man, you boy, you bug. <laughs> any, <laughs> any stable that has Ming in it, I'm not, I'm not this, I'm not arguing. What was the one? It was just Kevin, Kevin Sullivan. I can't get down on him. He weird yeah. as fuck. What's it? I'm looking at it now. I think this is it, but it might be the same one where he came back from like a, a big injury from 2004. Oh, oh, and he had, yeah, 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 and the ankle cut his hair afterwards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember watching on TV. I remember the one I was like, I just groaned at when he, um, it was a Survivor Series match. I think it was the one that Sting. Oh, when he turned on it and he punched Cena. Yeah, and I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, yep. why? Yeah, because uh, shit. Is that the one when he? What's the one when he kept trying to lose his job? I think it was that. Was that one? Okay. Yeah. 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 I didn't like that one too much. No, wait. Um, I. It was a year before, because that was when he he wrestled Randy at the Survivor Series. I think it was 2013. And the buildup was the whole, like, he had to punch Dusty. Yeah, he had to bust Dusty. Yep. And that was also the lowest rated. Survivor Series that they've ever done because the main event was Big Show and Randy Orton. That wasn't good. Yeah. Wasn't good. There, man, I ain't gonna there was those times where like the Big Show would come on my TV screen I would just fucking groan. Mm-hmm. Like I would just be so disgusted I'm like why are you here? Like this isn't needed. And keep in mind, I have nothing against them. No, oh, I actually like them. I like. I kind of like them better at WCW though. That's my favorite. Yeah, the that's giant, my favorite. Like the he's giant. Good, the giant. Like he's no, he's good in. Uh, it was good in WWE. It's just I always his I, I mean, WCW was my shit back then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's just what um the so Kevin Nash feud. Yes. Yeah. Oh, when he dropped when he um dropped like power on that oh, man my God. on his neck. Woo. Yeah, that was scary. Yeah. I mean, have you ever seen him do the uh, top rope drop kick? Yes. yes. That's like a Walter. Yeah, that's a big boy. Yeah. Yeah, man. He, man, he, man, he was athletic shit, too. He yeah. was. WWE had toned his ass down. They told him to stop doing that. I loved, actually, the tag team of him and The Undertaker. I don't know if y'all remember. I like the tag okay. team of him and Jericho. Oh, that's, yeah. what, that's, yeah. what, that's yeah. what I like. Yeah. Yeah. Jericho was hard. Yeah, you know, when Undertaker was cool... But I just didn't the promo when Undertaker was like uh, Oh the promo was in the ring. Oh wait, I got a snake. Uh, oh baby, put him in the desert. In desert. Uh, <laughs> he came back. Uh, like what the fuck is that you talking was, about, Tate? That shit was that that wasn't Tate, that was Mark. <laughs> and he rolled down. Hey hey dead man. Hey, dead buddy. Remember he had a fair <laughs> dead man. <laughs> that was dumb as fuck. Uh, <laughs> uh when he had the uh the turn. I mean, he was fucking with um, shit. I think it was right after when he turned on uh, Undertaker, and he's had an affair with Vicky Guerrero. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good times. I forgot. Damn, Vicky been passed around more than a blunt. Fuck. Buddy. Think about it. Buddy. Shit. I remember the turn he did. I'm trying to think, man, because there was a turn he did. I think. Sh- oh, when he turned, um, when he joined the NWO in WWE, and he turned on Austin. Damn, I forgot about that. I was yeah. like, this shit's stupid. <laughs> they wanted to bring it back. They want to do a WCW angle. I was like, stop this. Oh, uh, the the Valentine's Day Massacre? No, nah, that's when he did. Nah, that's when, when, when he joined the when he joined the um the NWO. So this is about two thousand and two, mm-hmm. and him and Flair joined the NWO. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that I am. I don't count that. Like, <laughs> you don't count that. <laughs> no, nah, I don't count Flair being the NWO. Just how he don't count. Uh, who he said they ever been? Sid Vicious? It was somebody Flair said. I would said, tell Flair to his face to stop disrespecting the goddamn name of Sid Vicious. It was somebody Sid he said was that was... was yeah, yeah, it was Sid Vicious. It was Sid Vicious? vicious? Yeah, he said Keep in mind, it's funny because all the people that Ric Flair hated as a horseman, I loved. I <laughs> loved Mongo McMichael as a horseman. I like... That's, that's, that's the horseman I know. Yeah, that's that's the, that yeah, that was the horseman I knew too. I yeah. like Paul Roma. It's Sid Vicious is Sid Vicious. Right. Absolutely. Now, you know who should have been a horseman? The fucking racist that they are. All of them. <laughs> they got it. Horsemen. Klansmen. Mm. What rides on horses back in the day? Klansmen. With the Damn, white sheets. my brother. I ain't, I ain't quick to specify the necessities of the language that they were trying to put in my face. My brother. Do you not know? If you think about it, Let's break this down. Four horsemen. What's in Four. Oh, what's oh your third eye? Whoa! Mm. Illuminate you, 
coming from the African word Uhara. Uhara meaning horror. Horror story for horsemen is a horror story. Mm, mm. Here comes Mungo. <laughs> Damn, brother. I didn't even quite. Yo, man. <laughs> if y'all don't open your eyes to what we are telling you, let's break the exhibit in. Oh man! If you break down the word flare, let's break it down. Rick flare, mm. flare meaning flare, the flare that the sun gazes on the white sheet on a flare oh, night. Come on, I gotta let this shit rock real quick. I mean, never as we proceed. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. <laughs> oh wait, I can't stop. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, he's never dropped. So okay, but here's the thing. <laughs> oh, not anymore. <laughs> nah, he got a billionaire lady. Yeah. He never. <laughs> he is good. Is there anything gonna come from this big show? This big show return? They do think this was just a one off. They have a nah. fist fight on Monday. A what? A fist fight. It's the same. All six of them again. Are they gonna be like on the it is a? And it's called a fist fight. That's the name of the match. Brawl for all. <laughs> fist what? fight on uh, oh, Raw. This is why I don't watch Raw. Ooh, it's it's gonna be AOP and the Messiah versus Big Show, Joe, Kevin Owens in the fist fight. Joe need to come to SmackDown. How? How? Wait. First of all, and KO. How in the fuck? Even Kevin Owens said, "What are these rules to a fist fight?" <laughs> Who made <laughs> he said, I'm not <laughs> "Who made the yeah. matchup?" And then, then I don't know. They showed us at the end. Seth Rollins got a night. broke hand. Oh, is that why he's getting taped up? And shit? Yeah, he got. A, remember, uh, he that's why he ain't. They had um, revealed him uh, being part of the AOP or AOP being with him. How you want to look at? Is it, it bad? I keep, early because of his hand being broke. Is it bad? I keep thinking Seth Rollins has a title. No, <laughs> like it no, feels like a title feud. It does. It does, but no one has one <laughs> because the title is. It's not going to be the it's same. I'll tell you that. Brock Lesnar. And speaking of Brock, great segue. Hey. It was announced that Brock, hey, Brock. that Brock Lesnar will be the number one entry in the Royal Rumble match. Let's stop right there. Uno. Let's rewind it back one more time. <laughs> Brock Lesnar will be the number one entry in the Royal Rumble match. Let's yep. stop right there. <laughs> Let me bring it on back a little bit more. <laughs> Brock Lesnar is in the Royal Rumble as the number one entry as the WWE fucking champion. Bring it back one more time. Rip, give it a rip, rip. Brock Lesnar! <laughs> 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 Is there a flip it, dip it, plan yet? My client, client. And he's not defending the title. The title not on the line. Look, there's so many things. There's so many things. Now, keep in mind, right? I look forward to the Rumble, Royal Rumble every year. It's one of my favorite events. The match. Is it your second favorite? Huh? Is it your, like, your, 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 your second favorite like out of the big four? That's actually my favorite. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. I was telling my man at work today, I was like, there's been years where I've enjoyed, like, I've looked forward to the Rumble more than I did Mania. Because mm-hmm. I'm a big fan of the match. I just love the suspense and drama of the Royal Rumble match. And the one thing I always looked forward to as a kid was who was going to be number one and who was going to be number two. I like that surprise. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I like, you know, let's all find out who drew number <laughs> one. And then it'd be like Cactus Jack. Mm-hmm. Be like Bart Lit. Mm-hmm. Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. Mm. Right. But now, this year, <laughs> <laughs> we have to sit. And they said they're doing the men's rumble. We already know number one. Is Brock, Brock Lesnar. Lesnar. So then my question my question to y'all is book Brock Lesnar as the number one entry. Give me exactly what you would do if you were booking the World War, but Brock Lesnar's your number one. I'm gonna start with Chiquita. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they got planned for WrestleMania with, with Brock. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, because now this kinda it throws a wrench in the in the you know what I'm saying, into the plans. Like because originally I assumed that Brock Lesnar was going to be in the match, per se, and he was going to do what he does. And then, you know, I kind of went with your theory, where they had Cain Velasquez, or I was going to even say Tyson Fury or whatever. Uh, they come in and, like, 
they like whoever it is, either one eliminate themselves and Brock Lesnar mm-hmm. at the same time, and the war Rumble continues on. So that way you kind of build that feud up between Brock Lesnar and this guy or that guy. Now it's weird because <clears throat> that kind of like throws away all those surprise entrance like Dream. Like you can't do Dream as a number, number one two. or a number mm-hmm. two. You know, that kills that idea right there. So I don't even know if he's going to pop up. It's And it's funny because like a lot of people are like, oh, it's never been done. I'm like, Roman Reigns did it. He was a champion. I mean, <laughs> the Royal Rumble has been the WWE title has been defended. Oh man, he's on bro. The WWE. He title, did. Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. The WWE title has been defended in the Rumble twice. In '92, it was vacant. Roman Reigns defended it in uh, 2016. Yeah. Brock could have defended the title. He could. Yes. No. I, no. What they could have done to add some drama? If this was me. The WWE title is only on the line if you eliminate Brock Lesnar. So you have like it's not the winner of the match is the so it's the person that eliminates who the person who eliminates Brock Lesnar is now the WWE champion mm. because I feel like then you build you still have your Rumble winner but now you have a ready made feud of the person who eliminated Brock Lesnar. I think it would have just been dope. It would have been different. I ideally the number two slot should be somebody from I hate to say it from two oh five live. Like that he could easily that, <laughs> Jack Gallagher. That he could easily Jack like, toss around like <laughs> toss around. Oh get him, oh get him, oh <laughs> So this was this is exactly how I'd book it. Number two would be Jack Gallagher. Okay. Number three would be let's make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Otis. Oh, that'd be dope. You that'd know what I mean? Cool. You have them go at it for a little bit, but ultimately Brock eliminates them. Yeah, it's like two German suplexes yeah. in a clothesline. Number four, be Matt Riddle. Okay. So now you've built up like, all right, so he's eliminated two. Who's gonna be the number four? And then five, four, three, two, one. Er, bro. bro, the crowd go crazy. nuts. <laughs> or or my person to win if he's going to be in the match. Bask in his glory. One movie no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's what one movie. That's what I would do. I would have whoever the surprise, uh, the surprise entry, the f- be number two, or whoever they set up for him to to face at Royal Rumble, be Me. number two and give him a quick a quick elimination. That's all I was like. like I can see them kind of still setting up Kane Velasquez if he came in as number two. Just so they eliminate Brock from the equation and then we can get back to regular programming Cause, TV. You know, Because either like, way, like this shit is going to... It's unpredictable. Like I don't know what's about to happen. It, no. it makes it kind of exciting. I'll tell you yeah, a guarantee though. Definitely. All right. On this day. On this day. <laughs> I see clearly There was days Of tonight And a place On a broken dream Please don't let him be number two For the, for the God's sake For the God's sake of that man's neck please No, don't let, him be don't let him be number two, please We don't uh, need that Oh, and this is what I wanted to say And I'm going to keep saying it until, uh, until Rumble time I need wrestling fans to get The expectation that number 30 is going to be somebody, a surprise guest, or somebody big. Only because you're setting yourself up for failure. For fucking failure. <laughs> because I'm not going to lie, if I'm qu- remembering my memory a little bit, we all sat here, and when Nia Jax came out, I was just like, oh. Random. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not who I thought was coming out, but whatever. Mm-hmm. There was that one year where I thought Kurt Angle was coming out at number 30, and it was. Roman Reigns, mm. yes, which I loved. <laughs> the be- like I said, the best surprise number thirty injury is Cena. Oh wait, yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, that was great. Because well, he was injured. Yeah, he was supposed to be out. No one like, saw it coming. Man, that like, was a surprise. Yeah, I worked out. What the Rock coming? Nope. No, no, just stop. Just stop. Just stop. They've been they've no, been the talking rock, about no. this Rock versus Brock. Phil. I'm good, dog. I'm uh, good. Rock versus Roman Reigns. I'm good. I keep hearing that. I'm good. Nah, dog. I'm good. These rumors. I'm good. I'm good on. Um, I'm good on Dwayne. But what? How, how I would book it? How I would book it? Like, uh, 
like we talked about on Wednesday when we was here, um, Kofi. That's what I. I just, nice. That's what I just just let it happen. Let him get some type of get back. He because what is the rules of it? If they eliminate, we get a match, right? Is that what it is? I, that? Well, they haven't officially said it, but that's what the, the, what, setup. the Royal Rumble. Yeah, yeah. like well, the Royal Rumble. Rumble oh, are you talking about if, if they eliminate Brock, Brock? Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't. I, that's the part I didn't get to watch. Yeah, like, I just so, heard he was in the Rumble, and I was like, oh, I was man. trying to understand because then if it's like that, I would have him eliminate him. And then he gets his redemption story at WrestleMania, and then he beats him. Now, it does open up to be something cool because you're going to have, like, McIntyre and yeah. Brock facing off each other. You can have mm-hmm. Walter and Brock facing off each other. Oh, my God. You know oh, what I'm saying? Dope. Like, just some random people that are facing Brock. Like, you know, another one that everybody speculated was going to happen when he returned, Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar facing each other off in the fucking ring, you know? It's so damn shame how cold the crowd would probably be to that. Cause what, big, wow. big Bob, Big Bob's got a Big Bob's got lesbian problems to deal with. <laughs> the, and the ideal world, it would have been dope. Him number two, Biggie. Number three, Xavier Woods. Number four, cool. Kofi King. <laughs> 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 that, that oh, would that'd be, be dope. That'd be kind of dope. Because, and because yeah. Brock thinks y'all number one is gonna be easy. It's Biggie, Biggie got that angry look. Mm-hmm. So you know, you not or he might, yeah, he probably would. Yeah, you no know, WWE booking, but you know, Biggie holds his own. Then Xavier Woods comes out, they just beat the shit out. <laughs> and then number three, it's Kofi. New Day. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kofi, eight seconds in the ring, gets right eliminated because that's exactly how they book it. That'd be sad. I'll be upset. <laughs> you seen that shit? Uh, uh, the Miz said. You had a six minute, a six second match and lost the title. No, no it was eight. It was eight. <laughs> it was eight. Get it right. right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty dope. Man. Yeah, yeah, that shit was hilarious. That would be kind of cool though. That'd like, be nice, man. Like for real, like if Xavier Woods was like better by now, yeah. man, that'd be kind of dope. Now the irony in that would be now, amazing too. And now we don't know when X comes back. Man. But it just uh, I miss him on TV, man. Yeah, he was him. like, I can come back. Maybe I can come back in the summer. Maybe I could come back in like when December. He, man, when he said Maybe that, I could never come back. When I said when he said, I was like, God damn it. Yeah, it should hurt. Apparently, just to burst your bubble a little bit. Apparently, Ember Moon's injury is similar but worse. Yeah, there legit is no timetable for when she's gonna be back. Damn, damn it, man! It's her it's her Damn it, man! Damn. That hurts. Yeah, man. They said it was her time, dog. I know, dog. I know. <laughs> she got the call before when she got hurt. Said it was her time. <laughs> did you know? How, did she? Did you hear how she hurt? How, like what made her like? Nah, I didn't see. Ugh. She injured herself during a twenty-four-seven segment running. She got hurt doing a fucking twenty-four-hour segment, not in the ring. But doing the running, for the but 24/7. Achilles, bro, is a stress. It's, it's a stress yeah. injury. But that's that, it. But I'm, no, I'm just saying, it's just, it sucks that it had to happen in a, a pointless the time, backstage yeah. segment. Yeah. That time and thing, man. Think about it, Ember could be in the, you know, wrestling, WrestleMania. But I'm glad it happened where they can see it, though, because, like, the AC, I mean, uh, like I said, the uh, Achilles injury, she could have been, like, walking to a car and then pop because yeah. of the compact and whatever she's oh, yeah, been doing mm-hmm. already. It's, it's just, just like, like I said. It was just going, it was like one of them in Devil. Nobody knows when she's coming back, no love. I know. She may never come back, Nolo. I see you just trying to like... Mm-hmm. Ember Moon's career might head. be over, Nolo. That's crazy, yo. Because she was going to be... She was about to She was over, man. Yeah. Everyone loved her. The yeah. crowd. She was about to kill it. And now she... Nobody knows when she's coming back, man. <laughs> she might have just... <laughs> that backflip, though. <laughs> that backflip, though. It's okay, man. High five. She'll come, Mike. I can hope. Huh? I can hope. You can't. Hell, man, I got faith. I believe she'll be back. I I hope she comes back, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it'll be dope. Should we talk about the Wednesday Night Wars and then SmackDown or SmackDown and then? Yeah, we can talk about AEW because I watched that. And okay. It's the most confusing. Go for it. I'm happy. World, I'm so. happy you tell. You need to tell me what happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so again, I missed the first hour, but I did get to watch the Riho and uh, what is her name, Chris Straylander match. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I don't know if y'all saw in the group text, but Brandy Rhodes came out in the, in the beginning of the match and got on commentary. Brandy Rhodes sounds like Stephanie McMahon on commentary, but like if Stephanie was eight times worse. Damn. And I'm exaggerating, but it's it was pretty bad. Like it was really, really stale. Like then, what, she, what she just didn't have like the like, it, just, it, just, it was not good, man. Like she made Renee Young sound good on commentary. 
Take. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm not. You know, I'm not trying to disrespect Renee Young, but here's somebody we can disrespect. Is she better than Beth? Or is Beth better? Beth is better. God. By, wow. Like, by like God. ten. Damn. Yeah. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And I like Beth. You know, like I'm I'm getting accustomed to it. But it was just like the match was okay until like I don't know what happened halfway because I was on the phone with my girl. But halfway through the match, the ref was literally, I don't know if he got knocked out, he got distracted, he took a nap, he went to the bathroom to go take a shit. Mm -hmm. He was out of the match for a solid five minutes. I'm not kidding. Was he that knocked out? I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know what happened to him. (laughs) So, like, of course, you know, Brandy's got the Nightmare Collective. She's got the ball headed chick. I can never remember her name. She's got Awesome Kong. And then they also have this guy named Luther now. Dr. Luther. Mm -hmm. Dr. Luther, yes. Um, so like Kong. Matt, before, before you can, can I just give a quick tip for the people that don't know who Dr. Luther is? So apparently he's a 55 year old part time wrestler. So Dr. Luther was the best man at Chris Jericho's wedding. Like mm. they trained together or something very similar because Jericho talked about him in his first book. Dr. Luther's claim to fame is wrestling in Japan in the death style match. Dr. Luther's trash. If we just keep it in a break. Mm. If we could take it back just a second. Just, yeah. Raw. Did y'all see that clip of a uh, homeboy getting jumped? Oh yeah, the security, the security, the, security, yeah. security the, the, the wedding <laughs> official. Yeah. Hey, yo, I, I, I was like, am I tripping? Did I just see that shit? They did that man wrong. They did. <laughs> Apparently, security so bad they don't know. Who when they said that, the, were you are you about to say that like, it was part of the script? Yeah. I was like, I don't believe that for a goddamn. No, nah, yeah. security wasn't told shit. <laughs> nah. That's what happened. They were like, who the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? That, that was the reason why the camera focused in on him because it was actually part of the script. But I just like, it was funny because, him. like, AJ's, like, you know, fight, like, his victory pose or whatever was so long for, like, it was, like, exaggerated for so long. I was like, why is this going on for so goddamn mm-hmm. long? And then he goes up the rampway and whatever, and then you see the guy sliding. But, like, he made it look bad, too, because he, he ran into the ring. <laughs> Rolled and then I, you see the two dudes just like jump him and hold him down. I was like, the fuck? I was like, why did a fan in a suit run in the ring though? Like out of all people, that's weird. But anyway, Doctor Luther, Doctor yeah. Luther, yeah. So like they, all three of them come out. They interfere in the match. Of course, they're chasing, like they're beating up uh, Chris uh, Straylander or whatever. And then like the, they were trying to get Riho to attack Chris Straylander, but like Riho got to the top rope, did like a cross body to everybody and knocked everybody out. Mind you, you had uh, uh, Sheeta and Britt Baker sitting on the sideline watching the match from ringside, and uh, they were like, "the the Nightmare Collective is trying to help Rio retain the title." And then there was like a moment where like the ref popped up magically. I don't know where he came from because, like I said, it was just like, "Where did, where were you at the entire time?" But the ref pops up. The match is still continuing, and then uh, Awesome Kong like like Straylander had Rio in like a tombstone. And then Awesome Kong pulled her feet out from underneath her. Riho did this roll up, got the three count, won the match. But even Riho looked like she was mad at the finish of the match because it was just like, why are y'all interfering in my match, basically, type of shit. Then they decided to jump. Like, the whole Nightmare Collective decided to jump uh, Riho and Straylander. So then Sheeta got in the ring, helped out uh, Straylander and Riho. Big Swole came out, helped out Sheeta and Riho. Then they tried to get Britt Baker to come in and help. But Breaker was like, nah, I don't want none of this part of this stupid shit. It was very, <laughs> very awkward. The the moment that the Nightmare Collective interfered in the match to the ending of the match and then even after post beat down. I don't know what the fuck this Nightmare Collective shit is building up to, but that shit's got to go. I'm sorry. That has to be one of the... It makes like... Give me a stable that you thought was corny as fuck. Like terribly. The, the worst stable you can think of. The union. The yeah. Union? The union. They make the union look like, uh, f- like the higher power, basically. Jesus. I was gonna say I was a uh, I was thinking the union. That's what I wanted to yeah. say, but I kept thinking of um, what was it, the job squad? But I was like, no, I like oh, that. Yeah. One. Oh, so the job squad was fantastic. <laughs> I was about to say I like that. Yeah, I was like, that's not the that job one. squad had Al Snow. What about the Canadians? I didn't hate the Canadians. You did not. Yeah. They made the un-Americans look American. Yeah, the un-Americans. That's what they yeah. <laughs> They made the oddities look cool for fuck's sake. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Jesus. I mean, the oddities were cool, though. So, I ain't gonna front. Once again, rest in peace to Earthquake. But it was just... It was it was awkward, man. The whole night. Like... <laughs> yeah, I fucked that one up. <laughs> yeah. One man game. 
Earthquake. <laughs> Here's my thing, right? Because, like I said, I didn't know any of this happened. <laughs> I didn't even look to see what the results for AEW. It, it was... It was yeah, it, it, I want to say it was trash. It was just... It was kind of hard okay, to watch. Okay, since you're... They wise they look... NXT. Is, the rate is, I don't... But, okay, so since, you, since you're since the resident AEW reviewer, would you say the show has gotten progressively worse? But that's the thing. It's like what I've said before. Like, it's... One week is a hit. The next week, it's like, what the fuck are y'all doing? Then the week after that, it might be shit. But then the following week, it might be really good. Because I know next week, they got their best of the beat show. Yeah. It's yes. looking like a good card. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to watch, but... I might, you know, check it out. Is that paper? I might, is that TV? Nah, it's TV. TV. It's I, TV. It's on Wednesday. I mean, I watch it because, like, you know, like I said, I could watch NXT yeah. in the house or whatever when it comes to the weekend. But, like, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. But, like I said, this whole Nightmare Collective shit. And it's funny because, like, Brandy Rhodes acts like the character she's portraying on the show while she's with Cody Rhodes, even when they're together. Because you have the Nightmare family, which consists of, like, DDP, and then, I guess... Is DDP wrestling a match? He is. He's wrestling a match? He is wrestling at the saw, match of the beat shit. Oh, okay, because I saw him, it's uh, him hit two diamond cutters. It's uh, him and, uh, And no one gave a reaction, which is crazy, because even I would have been hyped yeah, he's doing a diamond cutter. cutter. Yeah, it was him. Right. It's him and this guy, TJ something. I, I think he's a trainer of Cody's or whatever. Oh, Jesus. But he was wrestling, like, I'll laugh him, because like, he showed me a clip of, like, this trainer wrestling tag team with Cody that night. He's like, yo, who the fuck is this guy? Because there's like clips of him like trying to. I don't want to say he's trying to wrestle, but like he looks like Shawn Michaels when he was facing Hulk oh, at that one wrestle. Mm. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> you just flopping around and whatever. shit. Yeah. yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> it was bad, man. But it just like I said, man. Like it, it's a hit or miss. It really is. Like and I have to waste two hours of my sleep time to watch the show because I'm like, okay, it, it looks decent. It doesn't look too bad. And um, no. Apparently the Matsu segment went over pretty good. That's yeah. the one he like smashed shit over that the was head, right? Yeah, apparently, apparently that, that went was over pretty good. funny. That, but you know what? You know how we were talking about last week? How like you think like, like, Ambrose, felt like yeah, yeah. So like, I kind of saw Ambrose in that kind of promo because he was like, I don't know, he wasn't acting like Moxley in this promo. Who the fuck but that is was this nigga? Dude, what's, what's up? up? And they and they and they spot they put a spotlight on him and he trash. <laughs> Wait, That's what I was like. dive over the ropes. Is the oh, QT Marshall. QT Marshall. Okay. Yeah. yeah, he's an actual wrestler. Oh, he's an actual yeah, wrestler? Yeah, yeah. I thought he was a trainer. I can't tell. He sucked. <laughs> <laughs> QT Marshall. Like, he can flip and shit, but it just don't look good. It's like he's a, a DDP. It's like he's just too. controlling I'm, his fall. You know, I'm, <laughs> look, I'm well, look. you know, because he had the, the him and his divo- uh, wife, uh, wife and divorce. Who? DDP. I did not know that. Yeah. When? How long? It was like recently, man. Like you know last what? Did now something. DAP right. track, re- track record with women is phenomenal because this man was married to Kimberly Page, mm-hmm. and that was a fine white woman. Mm-hmm. That was a fine white woman. Yeah. Whatever happened to her? I don't know, but I know her last name. Her real last name is Bacon. Oh, okay. Shout Kimberly Bacon. Bacon. Yeah, Moxley said he he joined the inner circle. He had the shirt on. Then he told Jericho he was like, "I lied to you." The inner circle sucks. It's a stupid name. <laughs> That's where I saw like the Ambrose thing. Then he took like the 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 glass or the the bottle of bubbly, smashed it against Jericho. Did the inverted DDT to him. Then it to Sammy Guevara. Then there was an awkward moment where like Jake Hager ran into the ring. Moxley was standing in front of a table or whatever, and like but Moxley got out the ring and Hager got to the table and like stopped. You know, like cartoon villains where they get to like something and they're like, "Where do you go?" And then they look to the left, <laughs> and he's like, "Right there." He's like, oh, he's over there. Like that's what Hager did. So I was just like, "That's where he is." Yeah, like I said, man, it was just Jake Hager is the real life Bullwinkle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta find that clip of him. Yeah, he hasn't shit. been doing shit. He's just been standing in the ring, staring. He got, does stupid. he got a fight coming over something? No, he ain't got no match. He ain't match. No, he's talking about a real fight. Oh, yeah, like an MMA fight. I'm- who keeps who keeps up with Bellator? Like if you watch Bellator, like you just Bellator you some good fights. you. I about to say MMA they fight they your damn fights. self. They got some good fights. What name one? What you call it? Ryan Bader. The last time he fought was yeah. good. Yeah, they uh, they got some they got some classes under their belt. Man, Alvarez and uh, Chandler. All their fights were for some bangers. Oh. I saw man. Did y'all see Rampage? 
Oh, who got he got beat by the door? Yeah, I was like, God damn, <laughs> Rampage, man, you are old as fuck. Yo, that is shit. Yo, I don't know why he's still out here. I, I know, man. I know why, but gotta get the, the money. <laughs> I think what well, Herschel Walker don't he he fight for Bellator, right? Nah, nah, I don't think he still fights for that. I think he did like for, he like, did like, he did for Strike Force. Strike Force, yeah. okay. Well, let's let's talk about the real Wednesday night show. NXT. Now, before we we get started, I got a this section of. NXT is dedicated to a special young lady. Um, we were sitting here watching, and they started out with the women. Yes, they did. And one particular woman, Miss Tony Storm. Yeah, yeah she, was, she was looking at Miss Tony Storm. Quite nice. Now it could just fine. it could just be me. All them spikes. <laughs> the fish nut stockings. All mm. them spikes. I did not notice the fish nut stockings. Nah, I, didn't, I didn't know that she had it like that. I was blind. I was blind about the spikes. Nah, I was man, blind I about something me, else. I like. I had called my grandma. It was like, "Yo, you still be making them pound cakes?" <laughs> <laughs> look, <sighs> my soda machine kid almost came out. Man, look, I seen that photo. The hoe and me came out. <laughs> yeah. I was like, "You can ruin all my life. Crush me with them thighs." This is amazing. Sir. Good time. No, buddy. Hey, cool up. I just want to. It's a great song, anyway. Oh, great! I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It is done by Tony, Tony, Tony. <laughs> Tony Storm, if you're listening to this, baby, we got love for you here. <laughs> I'm sorry you lost today. It was good though. She lost twice, didn't she? No, nah, she lost once. But I love the I love the opening segment, man. Like all the women came out. We were Ripley, first time coming out as the champ. Mm-hmm. Um, that I think it was Tony Storm came out. Tony Storm came out. And then Kylie, Kaylee Ray. Kaylee Ray. And then uh, Bianca. Shirai. Io Shirai. Then Bianca. Bianca. Yeah, Bianca. Yeah. Yeah. Bianca. Yo, Bianca, Bianca killed it. it. You don't even go here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I popped when she said that. Yeah. That shit was hilarious. And then Candace came and ruined everything. Yo, <laughs> man, Lee Candace alone. That, that was, was I actually exist. laughed at the, uh, her little segment. Oh, yeah. Because I mean, it was like, <laughs> she was like, really, Candace? And she was like. <laughs> they had a bang over match though, man. They went, they went in. They, they went in with that. Oh, absolutely. This is the best women's division. Easily. Yes. Easily. They got yeah. it. Was, right now, no races. <laughs> that we know of. Now, we'll see, man. Like, <laughs> Okay, so, or later on the, the, the show was Mia Yim versus uh, Kane and Carter, right? Yes. Is it just me? It, I think we talked about it on Wednesday. Mia Yim doesn't really do anything. Like, I'm not saying she's a bad wrestler, but like. She doesn't excite you? She doesn't. Yeah, hey, I feel like the, I feel like it's shown in the crowd too. Like that's nobody the crib, really gets right. Excited. Yes. Yeah, she don't do shit. Like, he said that's the crib. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think nobody gets excited when they see her anyway. No, and I, I think just, I just her persona. Her I like her persona. And like, play. like when she comes out, like her interest and shit. Mm-hmm. It's just sometimes in the <laughs> ring, I just. She doesn't do it too much no. for me. Falcon no, no. punch. <laughs> now, was it after this match that Chelsea Green came out? Yes. Chelsea Green is finer than a motherfucker. She was looking great. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Zack Ryder for mm-hmm. making for, for just. You need to burn those shirts you had on. Yes, burn those Hulk Hogan shirts. Yes, and then you can come holla. Shout out to Prince Pretty for saying like, Yo, oh yeah, yeah, yeah Prince Pretty's a real, real OG. Man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He was like, you need to change those shirts. He was like, it's a different decade. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Chelsea. And then um, the former Robbie E. Yes. Came out. Is now the yeah, uh, man- right. manager. Now, now, granted, my first thought is. Stokely. Where, where's Stokely at? Because mm-hmm. I don't want. I like I love Stokely on Twitter. It needs to be on TV. I need, I need the. He does the, an amazing. I need job. the Malcolm Bivens Enterprise to be a real thing. Michael Bivens records. Oh, come on. That's what I need. He said on Twitter, man, I don't know if you saw it, but he was like, Walter would make a killing if they had the baby the baby sky blue version of the Imperial outfits. <laughs> 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 and in my mind, I was like, that shit would have went hard. I bought it. Yeah. That shit dope. Baby blue? Come on. But um what else happened on NXT? I felt like something else made. Oh, it looks like they're setting up it Champa. Was- and uh, Cole, and they announced Gargano and Balor. Yeah, Gargano and Balor. Yep. Oh, that four way. Yo, I saw the. Oh, that was good. Shit. Keith Lee is a. Oh my god. 
phenomenal, man. Yo, man, I love what he does to pounce. I'm glad he brought man. the chin strap back. Yeah, yeah. Man. chin strap. Beer. Oh my god, <laughs> man, the when he was getting this glory when da, um they did that foot the priest and then the cut. <laughs> yeah. He keeps doing the same shit, and I love it every time. I'm like, because it still hits. Oh my god! Every hey, yo, single time, Grimes went off in that match too. He yeah. Shined, yeah. He shined. yeah, he, he did. Shined. He actually he won me over, man. Because I ain't like like his pro. He did like a promo inside the building. I ain't like that shit. You gotta go back and watch his stuff from PWG. Yeah, okay. when he was okay. Trevor Lee. He was, Trevor Lee. was in the yeah. I heard about it. Yeah, he was. He was in the exhibition. Okay. Um, they also um, started the um. Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Forgotten, Son, that, Forgotten Sons and Pure Match was good. Yeah. yeah. yeah that was a good I'm going to say Undisputed Era and um, Gatlas was good. Oh, man. That match mm-hmm. was fair. Next week. <laughs> Tigers and Alex fucking Shelly. Now, is he like signed to NXT? I don't or think is he, he just like, He debuted at a show the other day. I saw that. Yeah. That's all I was trying to figure out. I don't know if he signed, signed like full time, but look. Still regardless. If y'all don't know. I need y'all to wake the fuck up. Alex Shelley is a killer, man. <laughs> the dopest shit I ever heard Alex Shelley say. And keep in mind, Alex Shelley's been in the game for a minute. Mm-hmm. But Alex Shelley did a promo, and he was like, with talent on loan from God. I was like, talk yo shit. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, if y'all have never ever seen him in uh, Kushida, they're one of the most successful tag teams in New Japan, man. Multiple time IWGP Jr., tag team champions man like natural chemistry Mm -hmm. now keep in mind I hope this is just a hope and a prayer at some point this year we get an undisputed era versus Motor City Machine Guns match Mm -hmm. because like I said Chris Saban Chris Saban's been in the performance center you know what I mean like just give him one time Mm. do it for us that's a takeover match (laughs) man look hell Um, WrestleMania even fuck Oh my god! WrestleMania takeover, that'd be great. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm, who are they? Who are they wrestling? Who? Oh, uh, oh, they're wrestling the um, uh, Kushida and Shelly. Oh, they're going the against Grizzly, Grizzly, yeah, Young Grizzly of veterans. That's gonna be a good match. Yeah. And then the final match is the um, Flash, Flash Morgan and Mark Andrews against who? Isn't it uh, Pete Dunn and... Oh, yeah. The Bros. The Bros. Awaits. The Bros. Awaits. That's, that's right. what they Yeah, the yeah. Bros. Awaits. Oh, you didn't see the promo? No, I, didn't, no, no, I haven't Bros. seen any of this shit. The Bros. Awaits. I haven't yeah. had a chance to. Yeah, he's funny. The right. Bros. Awaits. That's that's kind of catchy. Oh, no, like, they went hard. He went they hard need to have them. like a shirt with the bear, like Pete Dunn's bear or whatever, with the hat on. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be tight. Oh, we got the game going on right now. Oh, yeah, my bad. I was looking at the... It was like, it's basically, if they don't get this, the game's over. And got him up. Oh, they gave him a great spot. And another got chill with that. Uh, Shamrock won his match against Mad Man. Shout Fulton. out to Ken Shamrock. Oh, Ken Shamrock won. Popped uh, Mad Man's <laughs> shoulder out of place. Oh, nice. Damn. Shout out to Ken. And Ty Valkyrie retained, and Ace Austin retained. Uh, all okay. the people that are not racist. <laughs> and Rob Van Dam beat Daga. Oh, hey. <laughs> Sounds like one of my favorite bitch. wrestlers yeah. of all time. But it looks like he's yeah. going to start a feud with Brian Cage, though. Who, Van Damme? Yeah. That'll be kind of tough. <laughs> That's going to be a good match. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. Um, I guess we can do the quick roll-ups because, you know, there ain't none. The, the nothing. You got the, the sound bite. I do. Hold on. Hey, give me a second, man. Give, second. Give, oh. give me a second. You know what I mean? For those that don't know, this is when we drop all our news items in quick, rapid fashion. Yeah. That did the whole mulligan, mulligan, mulligan. Try again. One, two, three. The quick roll-up. So, in uh, in interesting news that nobody was ever talking about, our good friend Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> stolen uh, Valor. Was accused of stolen Valor. Well. So, does anybody want to explain to our, our good, vis- good listeners what stolen Valor is? Pretty much false claiming. False claim of what, my boy? <laughs> you'll sit. <laughs> you'll sit. <laughs> false claim of what? And what's Sa- the, what, go and what Sergeant Slaughter false claim it? The Marines. <laughs> I thought he was Army. <laughs> I thought he was right. Army. <laughs> so I'm going to drop the, the, this is where the old wrestling hood, you know, the, the luck economy comes out. Mm-hmm. So Sergeant Slaughter, when he first started, the, his real name is Bob Ramis. When I was, like, in my wrestling knowledge, I always read the biography that he enlisted in the Marines, right? So, mm-hmm. I just always assume 
just like any professional wrestler, you start out, you're given some type of gimmick, but then you settle into something that's more like you. Okay. So the Sergeant Slaughter gimmick, I just thought, okay, so he was a Marine drill instructor. Yeah. Because he did the gimmick so well. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But now it comes to find out, he the, the time he says he was in basic training doesn't coincide with what his wrestling debut was. Mm-hmm. So I think he said his basic training was like, in 1972, mm-hmm. which also happened to be the same year that he debuted wrestling. Now, mm-hmm. I'm not saying it's impossible. It's just hard. It just, it, to me, especially back right. then, he said he was in Vietnam. Between, oh, he like, false statement like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah, he did an interview. He said yeah, that he, nah, he they ain't going for that shit for one. Even like wrestlers that's, that's wrestling today that's in the National Guard, it's hard. They damn near gotta go a wall for weekend shows, bro. Yeah. Mm. You would have to. Because damn, I'm trying to think of the dude that's I know that was he. He was National Guard. I think like Flip Gordon. Flip Gordon. Yeah. yeah. Flip Gordon, yeah. Mm. Um, you know what's funny though? I never like I I figured he had some military background or whatever, but at the same token, I thought it was just a gimmick they gave him. You know what I'm saying? Because he had the the face, you know what I'm saying? Right. He had the look on the face. Like, you just threw some aviators on You know what you look like? A fucking drill instructor. You're going to be a Sergeant Slaughter. That's what your name yeah, is. Yeah, I, I seen Cap all over that shit. That's why I was just like, when I read something about it, and I was like, really? Like Even to the fact that he was, like, part of the Iran, like, bro, I don't care how much money you, you give somebody or tell them what they have to do for some money, a real soldier is not going to act like, like they was part of the enemy, you know. What I'm hold on there, my boy. Hold Especially they was in the Vietnam. Now war. keep in mind, we we got a lot of young young listeners, so a lot of people don't know what you're talking about. Okay, yeah. so I was saying like back in I think it was like WrestleMania five or six, seven. WrestleMania seven. They even had, they had to change the venue for this because Sergeant Slaughter was going against oh, the uh, Hulk Hogan. Yep, but he sided with the uh, Iron Sheik and the Iraqis. In Iraqis, and you uh, know, disowned America and pretty much joined their military. And yes. keep in mind, this stole their valor too. Damn! So, <laughs> at the yo, same, how you false claiming for two cents? And at uh, the same six, time, six, six, nine. Nine. And keep in mind, at the same time this is going on, the you Gulf War is happening. Nine. Right. Yes. The Operation Desert Storm was happening at the same time. The same exact so Vince was just trying to just get niggas killed. That's essentially what he was doing. Pretty Whether it much. be there or Saudi Arabia, who knows? Speaking of which, Saudi Arabia come back February twentieth, <laughs> baby. So I got you, dog. <laughs> so for the young listeners that may not know, the reason why they had to change the venue is because, no. well, the the rumor has it it was a it was a bomb threat, but. People didn't buy it. They didn't yeah, want to go to no. that shit. So mm-hmm. they had to go to a smaller venue because of the ticket sales plummeted. Mm-hmm. Plummeted. Now, Sergeant Slaughter, right? Um, I want to say they even had a fake Bill Clinton. At that, that show? They, they've had a fake, fake Bill Clinton. It wasn't at that one. No, yeah, it wasn't at that one. Okay. Now, 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 here's the thing about Sarge, right? Or Bob, or whatever you want to try something. Like I said, he did the gimmick well. Yes. You know what I mean? I legit thought he was a Marine. I always thought he was in some type of... Yeah, or some type of mil- military. I, see. I just assume he had a military background. That chin don't that lie. But that's what I'm saying. That like, chin don't he lie. has the face of like a person, like a straight up guy like that. You know? I should have known something was up with the amount of times he got his ass kicked by Triple H. Because I could either yeah. see him as just like a, a, an instructor or like a cop, basically. Yeah. You know. Now, now Sarge is 72 years old. Sarge is old. He still looks the same. He does look the same. The his hair is great. That's now, but here's the thing, right? At this point, should we should this be a big deal? No, because like I think people are just taking it out of context. Honestly, like it's not that deep. To be honest. I mean, and it's been interviews where like he said, "I appreciate what they do for the country." You know what I'm saying? But if you want mm-hmm. radio, saying so you serve it now. <laughs> And you never did. That's but, not a good look at all. But was, he, but was he in character? But but I just feel like that's such a... That's the thing. That's my thing, too. Like, yeah, was he, he, he Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, it was just... Because remember, the back of the day... But this is a radio show going on today. Like, I can understand if you made the like if you made that claim 
when you first came in. But okay. if you're doing an interview in 2019, 2020, yeah. okay. that you're saying that, that you serve Vietnam, when the shit is easily, like, researched. Look up, yeah, you, yeah, you know up. what I mean? That, that's my thing. Like, that's a big... And he and like people have been trying to request an interview. After that, he said no comment. So I'm what, good. What that mean, Tessa? I mean, uh, Sergeant Slaughter. Wow, wow. <laughs> Sergeant Slaughter ain't called nobody that word that we know of, bro. Not yet. That's not damn, that that we know of. That's 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 up. It's not quite there, but bro, lying about being in the military, bro. That's but, I get, but it was like I listen yeah. like some old timers say like it was a different time. Like you could get away with shit like that. But why would you want to? And no, but, but, here, but here's the thing, right? That gimmick made that man money. I get that. G, part. Like, it, keep in mind, take the wrestling out of it. He was a cartoon character on GI Joe. Yep. Yes. GI Joe in the motherfucking eighties. If from from what I've researched, there were people who said in eighty four. Now, keep in mind, this is nineteen eighty four. WWF. Hulk Hogan is booming. They were like. Sergeant Slaughter was starting to draw more money than Hogan was. That's how pop, because that, like I said, it's coincided with the G.I. Joe thing. Mm-hmm. And I think as younger fans, like, you don't, like, think, like, damn, how G. big G. he was. Yeah, no, like, G.I. Joe in the 80s, massive. Mm-hmm. Not just, you know, I'm not, you know, saying, like, you know, um, like I said, what he was wrong. It's just like that, he made money off that shit. Hella money. Definitely wrong, but you made money off of it. Yeah. So you know people gonna do shit for money. Everyone do crazy shit for money. Hell yeah. That's what it is. Look at uh what is it, my only pages, bro. People do a lot of shit. Hey man, I'm fans mad. only. I'm not I'm not mad at those no, uh, no. only fans. For the, girls. People, yeah, for the yeah. people get your money, girl. Because yeah, the only yeah. way I get offended by stolen valor like that is if they're making like I know he's kinda made an income off of it, but it's not like he's pressured people into the Making the income off of it, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, it looks more of a wrestling gimmick than it does facts. Like with me, stolen valor, like it's different because it's like if you got a guy who's dressed up in the uniform and says he's been there, been there, and he's not even registered for anything whatsoever. Like it, you know, he never enlisted at all. It doesn't matter. Like that man never put pen to paper on a contract or anything like that, and is claiming that he's done this or that. To me, that's more serious than like. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Shit. I mean, like back in the the seventies and eighties and shit like that. Like, I don't get too too offended because I mean, I'm no, I wasn't fucking born around Nam, and the man probably could have been in Nam as a fucking I don't know an army combat janitor for all I fucking know. Mm-hmm. But I think people are just reaching. Hey, look, sorry, you you okay with us? I guess. <laughs> I like sorry. He sorry. didn't say the n word. <laughs> You're good. Corporal Krishna, wherever he's hiding, man, he gets salute too. You know what I'm saying? That's a leather face. That's my nigga. <laughs> oh, that's right. He yeah, he was looking about That it. man did a full 180 with his gimmick. He was like, you know what? For like, fun fact, he became Corporal Krishna only because Sergeant Slaughter left WWF. You getting tired, bro? No. Uh, you good? Mm hmm. I'm straight. You sure? Hell yeah. I'm stressed. Oh, bro, I'm good. Right. He out here. He okay, making it. Just making sure me. I don't like to see my homies tired or anything. Oh no. <laughs> um. He needs oh. ass whoop though. Damn. He definitely needs his old ass whoop. Oh shit. <laughs> oh whatever. I don't know if this is legit. Live update. Well, this is Brian Cage signed with AEW. Oh jeez. Really? Yeah, I'm about to find out if this is true or not. Call <laughs> the Wolverine in AEW. Huh? The Wolverine in AEW. He's the Terminator. Is that what the game is? Yeah, it's like the Wolverine and Terminator. Oh, he don't. He mixes up. He like yeah. AEW. I guess you know it'd be perfect fit. He mm-hmm. wishy washy. Some day yeah, he good. Yeah, someday One day he, he won't be good. The next day he won't be trash. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I'll watch AEW a little bit more if he's on there. I'm good. I'm sure. Man, he. Not, but man, I love, he I love, I love Brian Guy Gage. Steiner, man. I love Brian Gage. He, no, don't you ever. He reminds me. Oh, of I thought him. you said he was better than Scott Steiner. I was no, like, I oh, he, that's what they yeah. did. The, Brian Cage. What happened? What he mean? got hit with the Van Daminator, and then they made it so he can't compete. So Daga took his place, and they're also saying that he signed with AEW. Yeah, yeah. Oh, if it's coming from if it's coming from SoCal and Sunset, then it's legit. He signed with AEW. Yeah, he said mm-hmm. he became a free agent when his contract with Impact expired. Uh, hmm. He was offered to go to Ring of Honor, but decided to go to AEW. 
I mean, I'm not breaking once news. Once, now, it, dump, once it dumps the fire. Now keep it. Now keep in mind, Bandito resigned with, with Ring of Honor. Yo, yeah. Marty, to him, Marty Scroll, Ray Horse, and oh, they're for uh, Fatima. Yeah, Fatima. Yeah, they won the uh, six man tag or the yeah six man PCO tag tag. is still. The Ring of Honor champion. Yo, yep. don't like... It's just... It's, it's I weird. love it, though, it's man. Crazy, it's bro. a crazy time. I don't care, though. It's PCO. <sighs> oh, this is what we have not talked about. The Miz was on WWE Backstage. Oh! On Tuesday. Oh, because somebody it. acted like a little bitch. Yes. And all The Miz said, in character, mind you, was, I'm sorry I didn't change the culture. Which <laughs> led to a tweet that got deleted. From y'all boy. Who said, go suck a blood covered money dick yes. in Saudi Something Arabia? Something like that, yes. Fucking dork. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that was some whole shit. This is coming from, I believe, a 40 year old man mm-hmm. who is upset that The Miz was in a main event match in WrestleMania. I'm just saying, he sounded like a whole bitch. That's y'all boy. It, it wasn't whole ass shit, though. That's y'all boy. First of all, what the fuck did the Miz do? Nothing. I love how Chilling. the Miz gets under people's skin, even like when he's just playing a character on a live. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he's not trying to, like he's not being serious. The thing about the Miz is like he's such a great heel, but from from all just looking outside, he seems like a really great person. Yes. <laughs> yes I would yes. like to go have lunch at his house. You know, with Maurice and you, the baby. your baby Monroe. I got the same name too. <laughs> <laughs> You like the fiend too, ah, but um, yeah, man. Like for me, all I confirm is, and hold on, come here, come here, come here, come here, buddy. Let me let me holler at you real quick. Can I just tell you something? What's that? Sam Park's never coming back. No, don't you say that. He's <laughs> never wrestling. Never for WWE. It's still real to me, damn it. <laughs> he is nah, never. Coming. He's never coming back. When you said, put that game up. Yeah, put it up. Didn't you make that like one of your predictions? It's coming. It's not though. All that can we got we got eleven more months left. There, you don't say that. No, you don't say something like that and be like, "Oh, this is not gonna be like." Come on down. Come on. No, it's never. Yeah, happen. but there's been reports that yeah, Triple H wants them. Yeah, yeah, so shut the fuck up, <laughs> Mister Know It All. So there's okay. still hope. That shit's not that happening. Deal real to me, damn it. Yeah. Neither one of you is gonna be happy. Just to let me know. I'll just get ready. What the bet was? 200 push ups? No, what? No, no. <laughs> what was the bet? No, I, the, the, Nick. I said I'd do, like, I'd do every, like three push We ups. all get to pick a punishment oh, for yeah. it. Yeah. And what else mine? <laughs> Cash like, out the bag. In it's one, a, in one it's one not set? a prediction, it's a spoiler. In one, in one set? No, you got the day. Oh, okay, that's nothing. Break it down. Well, no, no, I no, gotta no, see you. him. Huh? You gotta I see gotta see him. You're not following me through a goddamn day. No, 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 no. I'm talking about <laughs> here. <laughs> like, I'm not doing him here. Do it. You gotta do it throughout a pay per view. I get. You got three hours to do Jesus, it. Jesus. Oh, rest. Man. Yeah. Don't worry. WWE is like eight hours. That's true. Right. 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 Just do it during Mania. I'm good. Right. Right. You got all the time in the world. That's what it is. You have to do it during Mania. I could have do it for a whole eight hour. Oh shit, dude. I'll be done by by the time we leave. I'll be done by the first. You're gonna be tired. (laughs) Yeah, that's cool. I'm not worried about it because it's not gonna happen. Because it's It's not this whole ass nigga. Hey, nigga, I'm with you. My man, you got it. You ain't gonna have to do no. There was some bitch shit though that he said. Like I said, man, if you if it's really you upset because the Miz has a main event pay per view, you got to grow the fuck up, and that shows that you have not let shit go. Absolutely not, my nigga. You married to AJ Lee. You should be happy. Mm-hmm. Fucking aesthetic. Hell yeah, boy. She is bad. She is delicious. Mm-hmm. She is... Mm. Mm. Can we also give another shout out to Tony Storm? Mm. Yes. Mm. yes. All them spikes. What a mm. Pretty brown eyes. You know mm. I need ya. Mm. Mm. So oh, he's singing. Uh, boy, that was Tony Storm on, make no, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was Tony Storm make you want to do. That nigga's like Joe and Gerald Levert. Don't make a song called "The Girl Is Mine." Huh? Hell yeah, <laughs> the whole is mine. <laughs> I love that song because they really hate I'm each other. I'm first in line. Song. They do. To my Ren and Ten. Huh? No, I was talking with Brown Sugar. You ain't see that movie before? It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a minute. Oh, somebody said Moose was like the pink ninja turtle. Damn, he got a, <laughs> he got a pink bandana on. That's why. Oh, look, 
I forgot to say it during the Tesla shit, but Moose, Moose out here got to shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, Moose <laughs> was like, what do you say about Chelsea and uh, like, y'all haven't let it go? And somebody politely was like, didn't you throw your wife down the stairs? <laughs> yeah, this is one you got to sit out. Yeah, no, you. This ain't one you got to talk about. You can't defend your friends all the time. Nah. Um, what is uh, uh, Matt Hardy possibly leaving WWE? So? Yeah, so. Oh, go ahead. No, no I was saying so. Nah, I was <laughs> Nigga says so. Now, for don't what we go man like that. Damn. Nah, I want I want him to stay, but if he stay, he gotta be broken. But they don't. I'm they that they though, want man. that. Okay, I love I'm the bad. broken. I love the breaking too, but it's just uh, to me. I'm like. So I saw like a, a theory and like a speculation that Matt Hardy might lead to go to AEW yeah. and actually be the leader of the Dark Order. Which would be kind of interesting. I'm not I, against I'll, that. I'll, I'll watch it. <laughs> I'd watch it. And I don't even like the dog order. But <laughs> I'm cool Matt with Hardy, it. Kind of cool. I let that rock. I see where it goes. That's what I'm saying. I'm that like, could possibly like, be like the best part like of the show. Like Evil Uno like grabbing his leg. Mm-hmm. Like more mm-hmm. like, like Daddy. You can even give Matt Matt Hardy's Hardy King. The, the eyeliner and mm-hmm. shit like that. They had Look, an impact. If it brings King Maxwell back. Yeah. I would say something about Rebby Rebby Scott, but I don't want that small. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Mm-hmm. I'm good. I'll take all. Of I'm good, man. She's too. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> she is just. She crazy. Tabit. Very. Ain't no problem. <laughs> you know what, though, man? Let Matt let Matt ride, man. Let him ride. I feel like Matt came. Matt and Jeff came back to the WWE. Like they, their return did what they needed to do. They, you know, they got to yeah. put away some good money. I don't know what the fuck Jeff's doing. Yeah. But, uh, Jeff I hope he's, get, I hope he's getting healthy. Yeah. That's all that matters to me. But Matt, Matt's a creative mind. Matt would be actually probably be a great influence in that locker room. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, shout out to, um, Billy Gunn's son getting signed to AEW. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Signing, oh, he told me that. They're signing all these white men up. <laughs> it's what they do. But you got Trevor Aon out here. You got, still got Chris Bay killing the game. You got Big Will, mm-hmm. Big Will Hops. They should definitely pick up Chris Bay. Yeah. Why not? I don't know. I don't know what they do. Who's that, AEW? Yeah. Nothing. Cody said he's looking at him, which really means nothing. To me. Nothing. He's just watching him on the TV. Oh, look. What move can I take from there's him? There's blacks. Hmm. He's probably like, you know what? Let's sign Tessa. <laughs> oh. Orange Cassidy wrestled a lot. On oh, this Wednesday, actually. Now I think about I'm it. I'm always down for an Orange Cassidy match. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah I, saw always, the, I saw the highlights. Always the juice. Up. He got all the juice. <laughs> He got, he got, Literally. he got all the juice. Um, oh, I don't know if y'all know, but on WrestleMania weekend, uh, Ethan Page is hosting like a um, a bodybuilders match between Scott Steiner and Brian Cage. Did I see that? And they're having a three stages of hell. <laughs> <laughs> Number one is a debate. Number two is a pose down. Number three is an actual match. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That'd be funny. Hey, man, I might actually watch uh, NWA Power this week. So they do got Big Papa Pump. Big Papa Pump gonna be there. I'm watching. Oh, look, yeah. right? Yeah, he, they got me. <laughs> don't like, you do the Steiner screwdriver. I don't know. He'll do that. <laughs> I don't know, man. He, he did that Frankenstein last year. I was like... Yeah, that shit. Ooh, that shit was scary. <laughs> I was hoping for the best. That's all I could do. Mm-hmm. Because he was uh, he already committed. He's like, oh, he ain't gonna do it. <laughs> <He was> like, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Mm-mm-mm. Um, the ice cream sandwiches. WWE ice cream sandwiches are back. Boom in your face, cream. Hey. Well, I know you don't really buy ice cream. Yeah, I can't eat ice I'll cream. take. I don't, yeah, I'm not buying it. I'm definitely. Is it actually a sandwich or is it a bar? No, it's a sandwich. It's a oh, sandwich. Yeah. chocolate. Uh, no, it's nah. Not, no. <laughs> Come on now, it's WWE. It's yeah. definitely. <laughs> it's definitely vanilla. What the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> It's definitely vanilla. All right, chocolate ice cream. They sure. make all the black wrestlers. No, I'm talking about that. I was just thinking that. No, I was like, <laughs> I can see it. I'd be uh, so upset, but it wouldn't stop me. Oh, the, you're still gonna eat it. The new day, new day on the chocolate, uh, chocolate ice cream. Sure. Speaking of the new day on their podcast, they, I listened they, to it. They unveiled the original interest for WrestleMania. It wasn't gonna be the bootios. It was gonna be a big van with a big ass in the back, shaking ass cheeks as it was going to. <laughs> Triple A said, we could do that. <laughs> or you could get out of a big box of bootios. And then they were really Like he was action that. figures. <laughs> I'm okay with um I would have yeah. loved that. that with the ass shaking yeah, band? They said they still might do it. Why not? Let it happen. Why not? This is, <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Yo, they're hilarious though. I like their podcast. I got, yeah, I got, I got to start listening. To them yeah, you got to give them a try, give them a, a listen. They're pretty good. Yeah, man, it's pretty entertaining. Not better than our podcast. No, no, no. no, no that no. you can hear on what? Apple Podcasts, Boom. Google Podcasts, Boom. Yep. Spotify, Boom. Boom. Stitcher Radio, Boom. and the world famous pod dealers. Oh, Absolutely. I didn't mean to, you know, I guess. I don't have anything else wrestling. I guess we could do the finish out the non. Yeah, we can do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I meant to say this last week, but I forgot. You know, just I forgot. We actually have a decent following in Australia. I don't know if I've ever told y'all that. No. If you did, I yeah, don't remember. We have a decent following. Oh in Australia. man! So um, oh damn! Prayers, to, prayers to y'all, man. Yeah, man. Y'all going through it? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, man. So. That's yeah, a lot of. So we kind of made like. A lot of money. Well, I mean, money has been donated and everything, but like they were so quick to throw money for Notre Dame. Like, yeah, like, they ain't doing shit for Australia lately, man. And like I said, man, we actually got a lot of people that we were mutuals with that are repping the Aus- in Australia. So we wish them nothing but love out there. Absolutely. Man. Hopefully, everything gets better. Yeah, yeah. Because that's and I need to see koala fun. bears, man. I like. The koala oh man, favorite, my favorite favorite animal. Yeah. They're like nice. That's yeah, well, my favorite mm-hmm. animal. In my past life, I was a koala bear. I were? I was. I was. I saw the Irwins out there uh, doing things, Rest helping, peace helping to the God, out. You go save the kangaroos. Rest in peace to the guy. My girl hates kangaroos. Why? Why? I'm like, that's racist. Try kangaroos. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's like, they're weird. But then again, I hate nothing that she says seriously because she's scared of moths. I think mm. every. Well, I don't see every female. Y'all yeah, just fly. Yeah. <laughs> they just fly around. Any bug? Yeah, girl. I tried to get like the defense. I was like, are you scared of a butterfly? She was like, that's different. I was like, no. They're the same thing. I was like, no. Bro. Thank you. They're the same thing. Thank you. So what? <laughs> I, mean, she's, I was like, are you scared of a butterfly? No, I love butterflies. You just like it because it's pretty. The only difference is one is a, uh, what's it called? When they only come out at night? Yeah, one likes uh, the, the little. Oh, God. What are they called? Nocturnal? Nocturnal. Yeah. yeah. yeah Shout out nocturnal. to science class. Yeah. Oh, I do. I do. I have a minor gripe that I, I need to get off my chest. What's that? Black men. Stop. Disrespecting black women on fucking Twitter and life. Hmm. It's never not disrespecting them at all. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Twitter and in real life. Yeah, I got called a bitch ass. You did. You saw me black women. <laughs> you know I mean? It's like I did. A, they did. No, I, I yeah, somebody called me a bitch ass, man. I, I made a, t- a post saying that I was disgusted with the amount of like. Vulgarity I've seen black men, you know what I mean? Um, talking about black women. I'm talking about all black women. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I was just like, black women, if y'all reading this, I appreciate you. And I got mad love for it. And then this nigga from Rhode Island. This nigga said, from Rhode Island? He was like, man, shut your bitch ass up. Dude, no. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> you got told by a guy from Rhode Island. I laughed. No. <laughs> Four months ago, I'd have been like, nigga, what's good? Right. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I'm ready to hit him right now. Hey, little bitch, if you hear this shit, you ain't gonna say it. And I was like, like, this probably the type of nigga that disrespects black women. Right. Because right. you're, like, from, cause you're or, from Rhode Island. Against no bitches. Mm. Oh, I mean, Queens. 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 He's the bitch. Yeah, yeah he's, the, he's bitch. the bitch. Yeah, you bitch. But yeah, that's, my, that's my only girl. That's my only girl. Hey, oh, I, you. I don't understand yeah. why they feel like this is the thing to do. It's, it's just out here man just, what is, this, is this popular like yeah. that you hate yourself that much you was raised from a woman and you came from a woman that's yeah. pop man it is yeah. I was gonna let you keep rocking no, I thought man. you were gonna keep going just a, just a forgot beautiful, all, the, all the beautiful melanin that we just see on a day to day basis absolutely just it's mm. Man, women, period, but especially the backbone of our culture, bro. Black women. Black women, Just dog. Fun. Absolutely. Black women save the world. All the bl- and look, oh, shout out to all the black queens that are repping this wrestling media, man. Y'all killing the game. Bro. Absolutely. Y'all doing y'all thing. Yeah. The, uh, those wrestling girls, y'all doing y'all thing. Yo, that video was oh, happy, fucking Happy birthday, birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, yeah. Happy, happy birthday. birthday to her. You know what I mean? And that video was so precious with Biggie. Yeah, oh, yeah. man. I got to, I'm, 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 I'm looking for something. I'm looking for something. Uh, 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 I'm not gonna say it on air, but I'm looking. I'm looking for something. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Um, what what happened? No, <laughs> it's an offhand joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no problem. I do have a question for D Mac. What's that? Yeah. D Mac, what did you think about the the little boozy situation? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was so, like, because I meant to text him. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna ask him in person. So. I could I I got a homeboy that 
I took him to a Q party one time. Oh, and Gucci Man song, I'm a dog, came on. I'm a dog. I'm cheat her like a dog. Beat her like a dog. Eat her like a dog. Classic. Then I pass it to my dog. That Classic. shit came on. Classic Gucci. Mm-hmm. And you know, the Q's, Q's yeah. are dogs. Are, are dogs. <laughs> and they started scrolling. And then my partner from the hood, hood, hood. Of the country part of Little Wissy, if you can ever find a the hood there. But he just don't know no better. Never been to college yet or nothing. Just started barking with him. Probably the worst shit you can probably do. So, Jesus. luckily, oh, they knew me and, you know, this you was, able was to cool. Smooth. I was, was able to smooth the situation. Yeah, yeah. So, I could, I kind of understand both sides for me being on both sides. Yeah. Like, they don't know. But Boosie know better because his older brother is actually a capo. He called it in one of the videos. He was like, I'm going to be like TQ. That's his brother, who is also his manager. I don't know if his, his manager is still now, but yeah. At one time. And I can understand Boosie's plight because just like I'm a dog, the when wipe me down, come oh, on, they go crazy in the party. And also, just to throw it out there, if wipe me down comes on in general. Right, absolutely. Everybody, but we ain't cappers. Yeah, we yeah. was cappers. They you push your jam, man. Thing. They boy, them shoulders get the rolling, <laughs> and them niggas get the scrolling. Goddamn. So, and, and it's yeah. always the fucking wipe me down or a slow ass song. I didn't know you see in like it's only been like a couple years. I didn't know how deep and extensive like the fraternity like. Like the rules. Like oh, you didn't yeah, know that. Oh, you got me. They have guidelines. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my brother, I live with a Delta. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. So, yeah. I know all the, well, I know oh. the one she can tell me because she always say, loose lips, say. sink ships. Like, what, what the fuck? Like, goddamn. <laughs> dip, dip set, baby. <laughs> Getting the cut. No, I'm not. No. She got yeah, a big bro. ass paddle in there. Man, I almost, oh, I bet. I almost joined uh, fraternity, man. Oh, which one were you going to go? I was going to be a Q. I can see that. Yeah. A what? A Q. Q, Q dog. I thought you going to be a Sigma. That's what I've thought about. I've I, heard, no, I've heard, I've heard from multiple people, like, they could see me as either a Sigma or a Kappa. I see Sigma or Alpha. I can see Alpha too. I just picked Q because that scene where all the hoes went, and that's what I was trying to, but then, like I said, they were trying to cut my hair, and I was like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like I'm not. You should let the hair go, man. I'm good, no, I'm good. What for some colors? Oh, no. I'm not saying for colors, but you could have ride it rock. Huh? You could just just let it go. You should have rocked with it. Oh. I went. I went to a PWI, so they just got the fraternity that I would have. I was gonna join. I was gonna go cute. Well, they was recruiting. I can see that definitely. All the way. They was they was recruiting me right before I moved, and I could I was about to do the grad chapter. And we were setting it up, but I moved up here. It it was funny, man, because like I was listening. I don't know if y'all listened to the Buttons podcast yesterday. I haven't finished yeah, it. Yeah, okay, but we're well. Oh, and Rory we talking about it. it? Yeah. yeah, I was like, I didn't know this thing was in a fraternity. Oh, you didn't know? Yeah, he was yeah. A I didn't know. Yeah, no, he's actually yeah, a capper. He's a capper. He's a, he's a, a capper. A white capper. <laughs> yep. Which is actually kind of normal, dog. Like I've been seeing that a lot. Like I think Bethune Cookman had one. Batista seems like he. Oh, Batista mm. th- slick black. <laughs> he from DC, that that part of DC, he he stay black. But uh, I got him as a surprise entry for the room. Yeah, do you really? Yeah, no, I'm not. I said, I'm always down for Batista. I'm always down for Batista. Give me what I want. A couple <laughs> white um alphas. Yeah, there's white boys of fraternity sometimes. Mm-hmm. But the Boosie situation. But if you seen his last live, yeah, he did say that he's gonna have a scroll off. And the, the four that he picked is going to actually get a chance to stroll with him at the Boosted Badge, March 14th at the Mini the mini Dome in Baton Rouge. I ain't get paid, but I fuck with Boosted real tough. <laughs> and the number one the number one stroll, stroll team from the Capitals is going to get $6,000 to do whatever they want to do with it. It was oh, okay. funny, man, because I, I saw somebody that like, I really think I'm about to follow some Kappas over a nigga that beat a murder charge. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I yes. said a meme. It says spring 19 <laughs> convicted killer. <laughs> that was going to be a Kappa name with the case. <laughs> convicted killer. Like, damn. Oh, man. Nah, because, boy, you from, and you know, I'm from there. So. Yeah. That's why I went. Whatever that, you know what 50 used to say? Whatever they said that nigga did, he, he did, did that, that shit. shit. Definitely. 
He did that and shit. Play the, allegedly. Play the murder. Oh, allegedly all day. Any other like, non-K fame? Because you hear you got anything, man? Anything grabbing your gears? Hey, man. Surprisingly, no. Oh, ever, sure. ever since Boo... Ever since Boozy said that one shit out murder was the case, that's my shit though. I'll beat that on murder. What did he say? Uh, they said we got you on six bodies and two attempts. I said, sir, you lying because I don't do attempts. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I don't Woo. do attempts. That motherfucker said, I'll pistol whip that nigga for 40 minutes straight. <laughs> Fuck up his face. I said, damn. <laughs> No, I got cousin. All right, I don't want to criminal. I'll tell y'all off. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 Mm-hmm. 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 Now, if you really look five and zero, oh. let's break this down. Where let's break this down. The read down of the significance of this five is two plus three. Three. Once again, your third eye. Crippler Hotel. Huh? Crippler Hotel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get your game on. I see. Three. That's two plus one. One being the individual of knowledge of self. I don't know why. I was, yeah. I didn't know what you was doing. That's fine. Right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> you need to break down <laughs> the background of self of who you are. Just remember, <laughs> they locked up Mill. Are they free Mill to Does lock up Bill? <laughs> he need good. he need to get locked that's up. A, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's Umar, right? Yeah, that's that's, that's yeah. the alleged doctor do you know he blocked me? Oh, oh, my old old Twitter account, he blocked me. Oh, because I asked what college you went to. He said what? I asked what college you went to. Oh, oh, yeah. that probably around the time they was uh fucking with him. Yeah, about his I, credibility. They're saying that he not a licensed therapist or something. I just, I just legit, legit wanted to know. I was like, man, like, did he go to college? He, he claims did. who Umar? Yeah, he he better. They say he doctor Umar. That's why his doctor's Doc. in question. Have you never heard Doctor Love? Yeah. The God. Oh, the kid. Yeah, yeah man. Shit, Doctor Phil not even a doctor no more. Hey, but Yo, fuck. Have you seen them pictures of his house? Who, Doctor no, Phil? Doctor Phil, shit. That shit look kind of creepy, man. I would. I wouldn't put it. I can't believe that still has a mustache. That thing has <laughs> mustache. It's like him and uh, Steve Harvey bar each other shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bro, what you doing, Sam? <laughs> you ain't going out right. Let me get that. Let me get the bro. Come on, man. Let me hold it for a second. That. Come on, man. I got New Year's Eve, man. Hey, yo, Come what's on. up with all the... Before we go, man. What's up with all the... This Lori Harvey. What's up with her, yo? What you mean? Like, you know what I mean? I, like, what's, what's man, her... Man, she getting fucked by future. What's, what's her deal, man? Like, like, I know she's... Lori Harvey out here enjoying life. Yeah, Speaks. So and... This shit's gonna go through the roof. Oh, damn. I'm shitting gold these days. Yeah, back to Lori Harvey. You sexy beast, you. She hey, just, man. uh... She's she's enjoying her life. Okay, and so she really ain't doing that. It's just you know, I don't know. People hating on her. I, yeah, yeah. She, I ain't gonna say nothing bad about her, but I, I ain't got nothing bad to say. Yeah. But I do crave a hot pocket right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say toast, toast is true with the blue frosting. Join. No, you ain't that over here. No, I, <laughs> I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. <laughs> no, she she bounced around from boy. I'm talking about. The son, the daddy, the homeboy, the homeboys, soccer player, the team. Goddamn. So she really is her daddy friend. Her life. She taking that hot girl summer thing to the Hey, she's she like, not doing hot girl summer. This is her summer. This is her her year. The Lori Harvey summer. Yeah, Lori Harvey got her shit. But maybe like fucking her is like knowing that we made it. Like we about to do. That's what next you did week. There. That's what you did. Well, you can find me at Poetic Crippler on Twitter and Scotland underscore Underwood on Instagram. You can find El Chiquito at Ways of Lido on Twitter and at underscore Ways of Lido. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Rally of the Leaf. You can find me on your bitch mind <laughs> all the time because that's what I do when I try to rhyme. And guess what? Nigga, we made it! <laughs> <laughs>
And of course, you can find us on Twitter, B G W Pod. Please go listen to us. You know what I mean? Our feedback. Thank you to all our listeners. You know what I mean? 50 episodes next week. In effect. 50. 50 bitches. Chop a clap. Hey, man. Don't know what we're going to do, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll yeah. figure something out. It's all right. Y'all man. enjoy. Walk yes. in that bitch like. What? Are we going to do, do that together at the same time? Oh, I thought we were. Oh, oh no, no, we can do it. We fucked it up. Yeah, we did. We did. <laughs> we we, we, we out. out. On to the next one. Next we out. We out. <laughs>